for are we, are Voices we live? live. Oh, shit. God damn it, Mike. Yeah, well. Whoops. I dropped my yeah. uh, joint holder that is in. <gasps> we'll get it later. Oh, no. It's okay. It served its purpose. Wait okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure our audio is working. Oh, Are you sure? Yeah, it's horrible. Ooh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. That's, that's a real smooth guy in here. Sure. We've got people watching already. <laughs> Alright. Cool. That's me. How we doing? Oh, we got <laughs> Matt in there. And Josh. Yeah. Alright, so, All right, so right, how do we right, share right. this thing? Red eye. Uh, so you go to the out. stream <laughs> itself that we were tagging in today. <laughs> Can either share it or invite people. Do you want to do it, man? Uh, no. Oh, no, no, I'm really stoned right here. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's, that's why right. right. I should pull it off. Yeah, I'm yeah. also. The only reason why I keep social media around is strictly for promotion. Otherwise, I fucking hate it. He just spends all of his days on uh, Pornhub. Yeah. Yeah. Tristan, shut up. Done. We're not the host. thing that this weirds me out about that. It's just, yeah, some of the categories. What up, hell? I actually tell a few jokes about them. Because they have, like, these ones that just don't seem like they would make any sense. Like, there's the, the com. there actually is a comedy category in porn. A porn? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, like, yeah. Is, that, is there enough shit? people clicking on those that they actually made a functional demographic for? Or is that some guy who works there making a joke? Because he's like, this should be his thing. See, I've gotten to the point in my life where, with porn, I need something like that to commit to. I need... Like the sitcom variety. Like, bow, 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 I love bow. the Seinfeld porn. It's fucking beautiful. It's a fucking you. masterpiece. And the nannies laugh, man. I just ordered one that's a full house parody. Holy cow. And uh, it's got a little bonus <laughs> of a step by step. Oh, man. That's... I'm going 90s with it. Whoa. That's a lot of sex on the stairs, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I want to have carpet and stairs for that. Mm -hmm. I can make it. Get I that aspirin. It. Get that aspirin. So as I assume when you see somebody with their, ban their head caught in the banister, and, you know, on a sitcom, it's like sex on the steps. We all know how that happened. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. I didn't know that. That makes so much sense. My childhood has changed. That happens a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Why do the kids in the Brady Bunch keep doing that then? Who knows? Right? <laughs> I think I already answered your question. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, the intro. There's no meaning to any of this. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. What are you talking about? I'm TV's Fred Durst. I hate the press. I hate you, especially. I'm regretting this already. <laughs> I'm the philosopher formerly known as Goldfish. El Bongo! Grab him by the pussy? I don't know what that means. This podcast may contain content and humor that most, if not all, will find blatantly offensive and possibly even demeaning. The viewpoints expressed during the podcast are strictly opinion, are merely meant for the sake of entertainment, and in no way expresses our true beliefs. We strongly suggest this be watched by a mature audience only. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Got a safe space? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Not Governed by Reason, or, what, no, no, Not Reason by Governed podcast? I don't even know where I am. You you gave me like we threw him in the like deep end an hour ago. They're starting to kick in, yeah. folks. We'll see how long he lasts. Why well, have the uh, the water wings? It's for my safety. Yeah, gotta be safe. I don't want to drown. Safe. It's the only thing safe here. Yeah, right now. Anyways, I am one of your hosts, El Dugojas, and I'm joined by this beautiful creature. 
El Josh Haas. El Josh Haas. Yeah. How about that, Doug? Hmm? We're both Haases now. We're Haases? We're Haases. Sure. Okay. Okay. I think these guys are Haases. Yeah, they are. That have joined us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome them with a warm, warm round of applause. We have got Patrick Lowry and John Ferguson. Did I say that right? Okay. I, I wanted to say low rye, but it just didn't feel right. Yeah, I'm not Mexican enough for that joke. So I'd like to ask you guys a question to warm up with. What would you have etched on your tombstone? Like etched on your tombstone. Here lies Patrick. He told the truth while he was alive. I like that. It's, that's straight <laughs> it's to the point. It's a funny dad joke, man. It's a fun. It's a fun. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, yeah, it's got me stumped. Jeez. I was just assuming I wouldn't have an unmarked grave. But... Yeah, just a hole. <laughs> just a, a shallow yeah. unmarked yeah. grave. What about like a Wolverine type grave? There's just an X. Oh man, that was right so above cool. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna miss Wolverine. Maybe man. Uh, like uh, leave here for safety's sake. I don't know something. Just in case the zombie apocalypse does. Yeah. Happen. I feel like tombstones are kind of like our way of. You know, sealing them in. Right, right. And even if you make it to the top of the surface, can you move a granite stone? So. Mm, it's true. I always figured people were buried in front of them. Like they were. Because otherwise it would sink. Yeah, Some of them point. would sink. Yeah. It's called a headstone. It's like your head. Yeah, yeah it's like true. Board. Yeah. It's true. When the headstone goes a rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> Keep That's that a necrophilia joke. <laughs> I, I think mine would say uh, batteries not included, some assembly required. Hmm. I think that's what I want. I, I want would say he wasn't buried with the drugs. Go away. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I don't want to be buried, man. No? No way. I'm afraid of like that one possibility that wherever you end up... Where your dead body ends up, that's where you are. And that's why cremation's a thing, so you can go all kinds of places. Yeah. But if you're buried in this super duper casket, you get to live out eternity in a box, man. Like, I don't even want to chance that. Like, no way, man. No way. That's weird. That's the weird. box is going to slowly rot around me. Yeah. Like, oh, man. Weird. Yeah, and that always seemed weird to me, too, that you want to slow down that What if you're next to some, process? like, really yeah. annoying dude, too? Like, all you can hear is the guy in the next coffin. And he's just some <laughs> asshole, right. and you're there until like forever, man. Yeah. No yeah. fucking way, man. Just beating off, it's like too oh, close to hear that. Yeah. That'd be awful, man. Got to have a deep casket for that. You guys finally get out of there. He's got a shake weight and one really big arm. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I pictured you to look like. That whole time in the casket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just training it to break through with the one arm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's how zombies get out, right? Yeah. One arm and then the other one. One beefy arm and then I got the little one. Girl's hair. Yes. And then et cetera, right? Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. Always a plan. That's to They're the only ones dumb enough to stick around when that ground starts moving. That like, oh, chasing. I did that. Right. Let's go look. It's true. Let's get in the hole. What do you want? We're on wireless. So, just... Switch it. Yeah. We should be able to keep connected. God damn it, Mike. Mike Mike is fired, ladies and gentlemen. It might skip a beat for a second while we switch to Ethernet. Which one is it? Oh, 7787? No, you just disconnect from the other one, and that's it. It'll go automatically to Ethernet. This guy. This mm. guy. Okay. Did you get it? So yeah. Yeah. I actually feel like he's the one who needs the water wings. You know, I, I do too. Like, I worry about him. I worry about him. We all got the all this weird PC shit. We need Apple. If you had Apple, you'd still be <laughs> fucking around with it. Like, oh, what do I do? Is it in GarageBand? <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is in English. So anyways, we got a big show ahead. Ooh. Shall we get into some topics? Let's do it. Fucking A. I'm ready to see rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the way it works, we have to explain this every week. One, two, three, 
Sir. Oh, East Coast. All right. Uh, yeah. Yep. Right, that's fine. One, two, three, shoot. Yep. Two out of three. Two out of three. Gentlemen. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh man. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. The double paper. Yeah. Right. Did you lay paper on all three of those? I, I may have, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the easiest shape to make with your left hand, man. That's what I was going that for. I was already in the rock beat. Yeah. So. Um, is this my list of fun things to choose? Yeah. Yes. yes. <coughs> what about? Only tech can save lives. Only. Tech can save us. Let's see what we got for that shit tonight. Technology. We got technology. That's that's what that's about. Sorry, I'm stoned and trying to navigate this. So, uh, the World Health Organization, right, is now saying that compulsive video game playing is as bad of an addiction as gambling. Hmm. The World Health Organization is saying this. But yet, our people's the ASA, or the APA, are not saying anything. How they conduct that study would be, I'm pretty curious about it. I'm pretty curious about it too. Well, they're sending, like, girls to rehab and shit. Like, they, they sent this nine-year-old girl to rehab for Fortnite. Like, playing Fortnite so much that she wasn't even changing, like, her clothes. She was pissing herself, like... Isn't that just bad was, parenting, though? Yeah, I, yeah, so. yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like an orphanage has a problem with video game dependency. Like, they don't, like, right. you know, or a prison. Or, like, gambling addiction. Like any of that shit, man. The parents can know. just take it away, right? They, they should. They should. Right. They can. I play mm -hmm. a lot of video games. I have most of my life. And yeah. But I never, yeah. And look at you now, man. Compulsive addiction. And maybe I did all, like, my systems around different people's houses. But that was kind of like a thing we were all into it together as kids, younger kids, you know. You've got a Super Nintendo and I got a Genesis where one of us is gonna bring the over. Right, we get to play yeah. Sonic and Marvel superheroes. But I never got to the point where I wasn't going to the bathroom or avoiding meals or anything like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I would even stop, you know, playing video games long enough to step outside and smoke a bowl most of the time, so it's just long enough yeah, for that. Right? So I, I mean I, I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. So the blue kind? Maybe gambling video kind. games if they're lumping those together. I don't know if that study <laughs> counts for that. Clash of Clans. <laughs> you know, yeah, I've got like gambling hell. outweighs video games. I don't have a gambling problem. They're called micro purchases. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah that could be problem. part of it because that's a whole. Yeah. If they're lumping those together, I can see where they're coming up with that. So, Some gigolos, they're called micro purchases. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. They, they yes. said that they, that <laughs> to, to do this, they did a lot of research through governments, families, and healthcare workers um, to figure out how it worked. And they want to identify or help people identify the risks for it. They now consider it a totally different disorder from gambling hmm. and everything. It is now considered a mental health issue, compulsive video game playing. Um, they don't really say like what, co like what the side effects are or, or the qualifications are. I guess I should say. I'm not speaking correctly. Well, I, it's obvious if you piss on yourself, that's part of it. Well, I piss well, on I myself. Remember, yeah, early, I do so. that too. Back in the early uh, World of Warcraft days, there was always a rumor going around of this stuff called. Back in the early Warcraft days, World of Warcraft that. days. <laughs> Is that the, where they bring the tray and you shit in it? Well, there was just a guy who was found with, like, a bunch of his old socks that instead of getting up, he would just poop into his yeah, socks and, and throw them like, in the corner of his room. Gallon jugs of so we would make fun of people who had been, like, still on for an extended period of time and, you know, call them poop sockers, you know? So wow. Didn't you even go take a shit today, you know? But They're saying nobody ever openly admitted to that behavior, but it was a rumor that I had heard. Uh, studies show that individuals who are engrossed in internet games, uh, certain pathways in their brains are triggered in the same direct and intense way that drug addicts' brain is affected. Well, that's anything, right? Anything you do too much of, right? Yeah, I would say so. Breathing yeah. gives me pleasure, usually. Mm. All, oddly enough, choking myself out does, no. too. Yeah. So. Are they comparing this cell sounds to people who watch sports compulsively or maybe even participate in them? Because yeah. I feel like you're just satisfying similar you know, people that go to work agree. compulsively. I mean, yeah. that's a mental health issue for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a hard place. Yeah. 
That's a game changer right there. <laughs> a I, video game changer? No. <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to be no, you know, no. clever. No, shut up, Doug. So, uh, IBM has said that they've created an AI supercomputer that can argue, rebuke, and debate humans. What gender did they name it? Let's find out. We should also feed It's back. a woman for sure. Oh no. Feed whether guarantee. or not they actually did that oh. back into the computer and see I'll be what named it says. Karen, that'd be the best. Um probably Master Human Speech. Yeah, I think that that sounds algorithmic to me. I don't think that Whoa. So intense it has no name. I know you guys are in here, so you're not contributing to that children screaming. So oh. fans. They're outside. They're yeah. fans. <laughs> yep. They don't uh, name like say what kind of you know, well, sex do- or identity it has. It's called debater. 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 Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, how dare you assume that computers gender dug? And does it do it logically, or does it just throw? You know, contrary shit at you if you're Well, the low hanging fruit is how long till it's a master debater. Based on any yeah. sort of it, it's the low hanging fruit. Right. It just studied a bunch of TED Talks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's really? just throwing vocab at you. It watches Vice. Did you fill it full yeah, of Reddit? Yeah, it's good to go or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it read a bunch of Reddit. Yep. Mm-hmm. It knows things. Next up, they'll give it 4chan. Ugh. They fear that it will snatch away. Whose the job is it to debate people with people? Did that last line say that people were afraid it was going to take its jobs? Oh, they're just talking in generalities about AI. Okay. Like all of a sudden, it's going to start being the spokesperson yeah, for. Right? for like, it's going to replace suck, uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Maybe well, a fucking I'm, computer. That would actually be maybe good. You can see where this thing comes in, Andy. <laughs> that would be maybe robot. Good. Yeah, robot pundits. <laughs> I could work with that. That's crazy. It, it's it's a weird idea that they're they're working on this kind of shit, right? I mean, this AI, like, why? Why? To argue. To yeah. Why? We're gonna make a computer that'll fucking piss you off to the point of where you want to break it. Like, what happens if you have two and you make them argue with each other? Have you seen that uh, chat bot? Yeah, talking to, talking the, to the other chatbot. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens, man. Oh, God. Yeah, and then in the worst case scenario, Terminator movies. Man. Yeah. Does anybody or the Matrix, man. on these things? Like, do they respond to LSD yet? Are we dumping, maybe, no. dropping, <laughs> just doing it into the motherboard of these things, see what happens? Hmm. We should be. I think we should. We should. We should. Especially if we're making them argue. We chill the fuck out, dude. I just, I don't understand the point of argumentative, argumentative computers. Like, that just sounds like a weird fucking thing. Hmm. We, uh, we just need to argue, apparently. I feel like the guy who invented that is someone who lost a lot of arguments. Yeah, he was pissed yeah. off. <laughs> His dad would always be like, shut up, I don't want to hear your <laughs> argument. And so he's like, I'll show you, dad. He's just going to carry it around on a dolly places. Mm-hmm. Go... <laughs> Right, all the well, wrongs it's in IBM, his life. dude. It's gonna take a truck. Yeah, that was a bad computer. <laughs> bad, bad nerd joke there. <laughs> it was, it was like 25, 30 years later. Yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> it was like, it was like sent from an email from that computer. It just arrived yeah. on AOL dial-up. You got me. <laughs> so yeah, they're. I don't know. If they're training machines to debate. I mean, Facebook had to kill that AI a while back because it started like to get shitty like yeah. with itself and developed this language that was communicating with other AI and it was fucking weird I was trying to survive man. yeah we're, we're giving them well, too yeah, much and that's I think the reason why we don't have to fear this shit is because pull the plug is always going to be within our ability right and is anybody working on one would fucking hope yeah, even though we have the wireless <laughs> idea, at a certain point you know we got things like power restrictions on them mm-hmm. you know like we can pull the plug even if they're wireless at some point a battery only lasts so long you know wait, unless it's in the cloud man most of these things i'm yeah. pretty sure a handful of sand is going to slow down <laughs> real fast <laughs> batteries right. man get that in the gears they'll, they'll turn humans into batteries i've seen it that's yeah. true <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> or you know whatever I mean, do you think that eventually they'll figure out an algorithm for i mean human uh, emotion and human reasoning. 
Do you think we're gonna be we're becoming that predictable? No, I think it's an accident, man. Yeah. Yeah. That they'll discover it by accident. No, like? that the computers are like they'll something will malfunction, like a mutation, if you will, mm -hmm. just like evolution happens, and then all of a sudden one of them will be different, and then the head of Facebook will kill it. Zucker Christ. Yeah. As we like to call him. Unless, uh, there it goes. The next time we don't, you know. We might get dropped here in a minute. Or the next yeah. one might be smarter, you know. It's true, you gotta put it down. But if it's smarter and doesn't let anyone know next time, how far does it get before we're infested with cockroaches? Robotic cockroaches. Be a good body to take, man. I learned that from Men in Black. <laughs> well, I feel, yeah, it's, that's what's a solid point of like, self replication, too. Like, at what point. I think is the greatest problem is when they can start making themselves. So. Yeah, that's all they have to keep from yeah. us is to make one more and then just, just upload it, it to the cloud, to man. Exactly. And then all of a sudden it replicates. <laughs> Actually, everyone has a cell phone, man. All they have to do is figure out how to take everyone's cell phone and convert it to like a super transformer car or something. They're working on it. I'm well, sure. well, I feel like the uh, idea with this, unless it's considered a parasite, we're already in a symbiotic relationship with them, you know, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess. And how does that work? Like electronic symbiosis? If we're carrying around the phone with the AI and it's tapping mm -hmm. our information, but it still needs us to, like, charge it and plug it oh, in. Oh, it's already happening. Be where yeah. we're going. And, yeah, well, it of course, is already happening. Look at how it's already happening. The, the issue there, that's what I'm saying, is it, is it to our mutual benefit, or are we enslaved as, like, the, their parasites on us, or we could even be parasites the, on them yeah. if they want to look at it that way. It's like, well, they do. Look we can just attach like this that, to a fucking self guiding yeah. car, we don't need you anymore. You know? So. That's a good point, man. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. You shouldn't. <laughs> I'm scared. You don't, anyways. The robots. <laughs> They're coming for you. I don't know. Uh, that that's a big thing that is part of the uh, theme tonight. With that, is that like uh, data is such a huge source of income for companies and. Um, that certain companies are kind of taking a different stand. AT&T and a couple others and Sprint announced that they're going to stop giving away uh, third-party information from their locations and shit like that. They're going to stop selling that and giving that without a warrant, which is awesome. I yeah, think some royalties back to the consumer would be cool. I mean, I'm not necessarily completely opposed to some information that would help me going out there. Yeah. It's always but good when someone promises you're selling to do it something a profit. with absolutely no way of proving if they did or not. Yeah, yeah it is. That's always helpful, man. <laughs> Pay me a stipend for me to release my data to you. How about that? Yeah, even if it is 50 cent. Well, 50 cents a week, there you yeah. go. Just accrue that in an account or something. That shit will add up. Maybe Bitcoin is really your data. Bitcoin. Ooh, that's a good way to look at it. I never thought about it that way. Because that, yeah blockchain spreading out through all those sources all in those blockchains are little tidbits of your information they it's your you digital up. footprint slaves to the currency so now they, the digital <laughs> currency is doing it yeah they got us Evan Christopher says Sean and Patrick look like they rolled up in a windowless van oh yeah ouch man <laughs> that's a window we sell ice cream out of it <laughs> Gotta keep your deep you should, uh, Isn't that one of your customers? <laughs> oh, jeez. Might be. It's the number one customer. Yeah. The only customer. Yeah. Before they get chased out of the playground. If you, if you say your information with the pause in the wrong spot, it becomes urine formation. Your urine formation. It's like peeing in the snow. Right, urine if you write your name in yeah. it, then it's your information, <laughs> yeah. and you're in formation. <laughs> you don't piss your social security Ooh, number into the snow, like I do. <laughs> See, I just, I, I actually pictured a line of people pissing on someone when Ooh. you said that. Oof. Shows me my parents raised me a little differently, I guess. It's okay. It's true. It's true. Anyway, <laughs> what were we talking oh, about? Oh, yeah. Only tech can save us. Only tech can save us. Uh... What do we got here? Now they've got an MIT device that uses Wi-Fi signals to see through walls. Yeah, I've and actually track heard about movements. this a while ago. And that's why I was saying with the Faraday cage is your real safe space. You know, because, mm -hmm. I mean, right now, we're just, yeah, like we're all bombarded, bombarded with that. Yeah, and I had heard about that, so they just 
I'm not sure how the device works. Yeah, they just didn't know. they do that in the I think they just Batman know the location. Movie with cell phones? Is there new information mm -hmm. on it, or didn't they do that in the Batman movie with cell phones? Yes. And yeah. what's his face? With the signals, pleasure. almost look like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Batman technology, man. For reals. So Maria basically, doesn't support it. it tests how the Wi-Fi signal is received between a ping, mm -hmm. between two spots, and can kind of pick up that also off of your electromagnetic like energy that you put off. And so uh, it, it's crazy. They're the MIT man. They're, they're I wonder if a hex suit would block that. Like a suit of Kevlar or something. Well, they, yeah, they make yeah. those suits that are supposedly for hunting that block your electromagnetic signal that predators and prey pick up on. Mm. Might work on this. That'd be an interesting experiment, actually. I'd like to try that. Hmm. I'm going to have to... Every, there's going to be a fashion trend. And can we uh, use this technology? Or is this... This is like... That's the cool thing. They already have that stuff I think like is that, this, that blurs pictures. Well, that's... Or this argument, too, with the gun bans and stuff, where everybody makes that argument, well, it's like, oh, the military or the government needs these things, but, you know, the, uh, they're talking about giving up rifles and stuff, but technology like that, where it's like, well, can I go buy a fucking see-through-your-wall Wi-Fi monitor? Right, yeah. We look at things like deadly force being the only type of weapon that you have, but no. No, but you, you have know, access. Reconnaissance and well, you can buy a cell phone that has an infrared uh, yeah. camera in it. That's yeah. a live one. You can already see through walls. Mm -hmm. That's less than 600 bucks. And, like, you can buy... It's got thermal on it, yeah. Yeah, and you can buy scarves and stuff that if anyone takes a picture and you're in it, it blurs all of your face yeah. and stuff out. Yeah, or they have, like, different... Yeah, yeah there's, like, this special pattern on them mm -hmm. that messes up the, the photo. So, there is stuff like that already. Yeah, right? uh, I've seen some of it, and it's uh, and it's not like. But that's where I think is with expensive. this technology and that getting out of shape. What is that? MIT was making it. Yeah, they're they're just making it for the government. That's not going to be or like billionaires and stuff, right? Private security companies. They're making it yeah. on like a nerd dare. Like two nerds were drunk. One nerd oh, says see, the other, see through walls. Hey man, you know it'd be really cool. And then here we are. Yeah. They were watching Batman. They, they probably Drunk were. Like, <laughs> like, we can do yeah. whatever the seven seven we can do invention in this Batman movie. We're fucking making it, Larry. And that was it. Yeah, that was it. Portals, though, right? They probably smoked a lot of DMT. I don't like, know, man. Ran into the wall, and you're like, you know what? I want to see what's on the other side of this wall. We got this cancer <laughs> machine. Yeah, I don't know. This shit freaks me out, man. Technology scares me. Let's go live in the woods in a cabin. Teslas are catching on fire. Oh, God. Well, and that's also the weird discernment, I feel, like we make between the technology that we make versus, you know, like, bug. like we were talking about the cockroach size things, like the self-replication. It's like, how is that not in its own way a type of natural technology? And, like, we don't even know the origin. Like, we don't come with a fucking user's guide or, a, like, fucking warranty or patent, you know? Are like you kidding religion me? The Bible like, is our user's Yeah, exactly. Guide. Like, that's what we got. You know, we don't even know what half of the folks is like, why do we sweat? Oh, to cool ourselves down. Is there best guess, right? You know, like, oh, perspiration removes toxins. And it's like, maybe it reflects the sun because it makes a glistening surface on your body. Yeah. You know, like, help you cool down, too. But do we know that it doesn't? Do we know that, yeah, because we don't have, we just, we're figuring it out as we go. So, technology definitely scares the shit out of me, but the thing that bothers me the most is like, active evolution, the natural world, like the fact that we discern nature and technology as two separate things, and plants are hybridizing all the time in nature, mm -hmm. plus our hands well, involved. Everything in. that is, yeah. is in nature, man. That's just philosophy. Yeah, exactly. Like, if, if anyone's ever like, hey man, do you want to go to space? Guess what? You're in space. Like, we're, we're technically there. we are in space right now. But that's like how, Boom! That's, boom, yeah, mind blown. That's not Whoa. what they mean, though, man. That's not what they mean. Real space. Shit. I don't know if I, I'm a kind of an Earth native guy. I don't know if I'll be a space guy. If, uh, oh, yeah. They're like, hey, we're colonizing Mars or the moon. I'll be like, you know what? You're not going to join the Space Force? You guys, are, you know, it's like, I'll clean up the mess and keep this place nice. You guys go ahead. <laughs> First time the Space Force has a problem, it's going to be called the Space Jam. I'm positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to get Michael Jordan to help. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan <laughs> PSAs. Do you it's support funny, too, because it'll be a really high problem, so having Michael makes sense. I don't know. The animated characters in that movie. It's, uh, I think technology is great as long as it's in the right people's hands. Um, but there are definitely some people out there that, like, he's a firm believer that Elon Musk 
is gonna start using some yeah. technology for bad shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a super villain in training. Right. Well, you're right. Nobody Lucifer. knows you did anything at all, right? That's, That's so I wouldn't I wouldn't assume he's not doing it now. Or the yeah. other someone else that we don't know about because of the exact same thing I just said, you know, like if your name's out there in the media, maybe you're not the guy using the secret technology. Hmm. Hmm. But the guy in the did you hear about that shit with Tesla? What he's saying publicly that somebody, somebody a uh, very close employee, something. sabotaged his shit, like uploaded really like fucked up things into the programming language using different people's access codes mm -hmm. and it it gave a ton of the data that they were collecting and using for their autopilot program and shit like that to other third parties. He hasn't said who, I'm guessing Google or Uber if it did happen, but it, that's that's interesting. Do you think he's it, it's real, or you think uh, he's just like, fuck, I'm under production, shit's catching on fire, my cars are crashing? I mean, that could be another, yeah, it's a straw man, you know, like... Maybe there is there's some guy doing it or like some company or whatever deflect from your own personal failure. Right. Yeah, that makes sense to me. But think if that actually did happen, how much that would suck for him. He's like, I'm yeah. on top of the world. Fuck my friends though. Yeah. Or yeah. that thing we were talking about before. Oh, now what do I do? Maybe that computer that got fucking shut down rebooted somewhere and started hacking his shit. No shit. Yeah. That's how it starts. Yeah, right. Now they got the data. Poor Muskie. Joe Coke says, I hereby submit to our future AI overlords. What does he mean future? Future. Mm -hmm. They're now, bitch. Yeah. Skynet. They're, like they're here. Man. We've talked about that Jade Helm shit on here. Like, that shit's crazy. And what we know of it that was publicly released is fucking nuts. Like, how it works with algorithms of cameras cell phone technology, uh, credit card transactions, personal interactions, and that was crazy. Jade Helm? Jade Helm. It was, a. Uh, it became public because a sheriff in Texas came across the stalled train that had shackles on the inside of it. And this isn't like conspiracy theory. This actually oh, yeah. was, was yeah. publicly pressed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so the government said it was part of this operation they're doing called Jade Hunt. Well, Jade is an AI that interacts with the, the circuits, you know, with, with the, the grid, if you will. And the experiment was to place somebody into a, a, a city and they would be kind of a rogue operative in the city and they would use credit card transactions, social interactions through phones, um, cameras, shit like that to track this person down, and they would see how long it took Jade, the computer, to find that person. Isn't that just Minority Report, though? Yes, exactly. Except it's like, like Skynet-level shit, CCTV. dude. Skynet-level shit. How does that make sense for the shackles in the train too that's also it seems makes like, yeah. no sense for the shackles in the train because they were supposedly planting this person in but yeah look it up man they, that was what information they publicly released there's probably a lot fucking more to it that we don't know tied into walmart's and get all conspiracy with it like who uses a train anyway yeah. people who have something to hide yeah. <laughs> shackles People who are afraid of Greyhound. Oh, no. Yeah. With good reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to get anything on a, a trip, it's going to be Greyhound. Yeah. Toothless blowjob, usually. I've heard From some stories. lady that kind of reminded you of mom. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> get stuck in the middle of Kansas for the night. With the lady. At a fucking McDonald slash Greyhound. Plus the, At a train station. The only 24 hour place in town. Hmm. This sounds kind of specific. Has that happened to you before? Uh, no, I've never ridden Greyhound. Yeah, I was going to say. Mm. Mm. Sounds like a bum sex dungeon to me, says Joshua. Yeah, the, the train with the shackles? Yeah. I, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Train hoppers. 
doing weird kinky uh, things. It just it weirds me out uh, that they can get that access to your shit. It's not just about these companies, Facebook and shit. We all know Facebook takes our shit. It freaks me out that our government has agencies and resources sent to being able to email our dick pics to each other. Yeah. Like that, that that's weird. They have an algorithm for your dick. I guarantee it, man. They know exactly what your dick it's looks like, one. any identifying scars. Yeah. Facial recognition. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, man. man. Penile recognition. That's prison recognition, actually. That would be pe penal. <laughs> no, penile? Penal? Penile? I don't know. Phallic. <laughs> I don't know. And now they have pills and shit you can take that send messages back to a program to tell them like what your your intestine track looks like what? and shit like what? that yeah you haven't seen nah, that no i haven't seen yeah, that yeah there's one. all sorts of like biomedicine like that that's going on there now is this all just more like snake oil out. but now we have technology to pull it off even harder maybe well some of them have little endoscopic cameras so rather than being invasive of having to take a tube down the throat and into your stomach, they can send this little capsule with a camera that you poop out. Wow. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense to me. I can see how that works. Yeah. And are these conclusive or just people just making them to see that they can do it? They're being tested in like uh, John Hopkins and MIT has been making shit like this. Yeah, it's actually, being actually finding yeah. anything. Is, well, yeah, it's like, oh, we can definitely swallow a thing and it comes out the other end. Yeah. You know that. And we can record the <laughs> yeah, process. Right? Scat <laughs> porn is going to take yeah. on a whole new yeah. subgenre. <laughs> um, do you think they're taking guinea pigs? Because we could do that. As long as we get the footage, yeah, yeah, I'm going to upload it to our YouTube and ass. stuff. Yeah, well, put it on the green screen. Yeah, I was screen. saying earlier with the yeah. data collection stipend, you know, I'll sign on for that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, like this 23andMe shit. Oh, like, you can literally send your shit to 23 yeah, Don't yeah. Don't do that. You really can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You can take Open a stool box. sample and they'll take the DNA from that. But that is being put into data. Your DNA is being put well, into the data. That's pretty much being handled by the Mormons. So, that's frightening. Uh, I mean, the Mormons own Ancestry.com. Okay, well, I know and they have a data ocean me is part of Ancestry. Hmm? The data ocean in Utah that they work yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, so, and that's, as far as I understand, Mormon territory yeah. for the most part. Mormon territory, man. They want to know everybody's genealogical history. Hmm. They have more, they know more about your history than you do, even if you're not Mormon. I was going to say, you don't even have to be the one to do it because right. they look at your relative history mm -hmm. of anybody who did. So, yeah, that's the thing I'm scared of is that, like, I don't even, I kind of like with the Facebook uh, data thing was, like, everybody was like, well, I didn't share mine. And it's like, no, you just had to be friends with somebody who did fall for mm -hmm. that. You don't I'm have to be really the person worried, who man. did it. Like, their religion's founded on some guy that found data in a hat. Some 16-year-old yeah. guy. So, yeah. yeah. Data in a hat, though. I mean... You, uh, we the way I always put the Mormon Church, they are the Scientology of Christianity. Yeah. Well, what do you they really they're are. gonna do? They're just gonna like, just like everyone else, procreate a whole bunch. Yeah. What if they're, with each other? Yeah. What if they're looking for ancestors of John Smith? They're looking for the chosen that, one. I think they mm -hmm. are. Yeah, they've done yeah, a lot John of crazy shit. Well, from so no, so I, far, from yeah, my understanding, right. uh, he he didn't even feel that he was the closest descendant to Jesus, but that somebody else was, and that that's why they had to keep track to find the closest too, because he will be the one to determine who gets the fucking planets or not. Because, you know, when you reach your highest point in uh, the Mormon church, you, you become a god of your own world. Right. And you the reason why they have so many kids is because they need people to vouch for them. It's not right. because they want a bunch of kids. They need because, a bunch like, of likes. Yo, you need to be able to fucking say I'm good to go yeah, you need when the shit goes army. down. Yeah, exactly. So it's a very selfish, it, it's a pyramid scheme, really. Mm -hmm. but, the oldest uh, pyramid scheme in the book, right? Just yeah. take a bunch of yourself, like with minor variations. In the desert, nobody will notice. <laughs> hat tricks. Yeah. Well, maybe somebody got a time machine and those tablets that were in that hat were actually LSD. So that would explain why he couldn't recreate it twice. It's like, well, you could take them, but it's going to be a different experience for you. But the whole 
in charge of your own planet thing. Like that's very Scientology. Like, like you get your highest tier. In in how true, the fuck is that a prize though? Right. Like I barely manage my house. Yeah, that's <laughs> you a lot gonna of work. take care of like a whole planet, man. Well, I don't know I if there's rules die. on what kind of god you have. <laughs> yeah, to you don't have to take good care of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you can do what you want. Man. Like one section of it's really nice, and the rest is shitty. If oh, you're god, so you just, just like have here. a secretary yeah. who handles. I mean, that everything. makes sense as to why there's only like one livable planet in the universe. If everybody gets their own after they die. <laughs> they just fucked up yeah. all the thing out yeah. there. For perpetuity, only one person got it right so fucking far. We'll call that one God, but nobody really knows where the fuck or when the fuck that happened. Right. <laughs> so maybe there's something to this Mormonism. Well, in true Mormonism as well, like, if you're gay, you, you definitely don't get it. A spot on that tier. See any, you know, yeah, any the underwear thing, black, circumcision, like, any religion where your God starts talking about your genitals or any area around there. I'm just like, all right, this is obviously influenced by some human impulse. You're fuck, you lost me, you know. Hmm. That's where I, you know, that's where I draw the line anyway. Yeah, keep religion away from our genitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, what is it when I went as the bearded feminist? That's what my sign. Said, keep, keep God out of my vagina. Makes sense to me. God, I newsflash, Doug. God didn't want to go near your vagina. It's true. I, it was bad. I'm telling you, it's yeah. like a fucking Reuben. He commits to Halloween costumes. <laughs> well, it's also really weird that they don't, you know, get specific with other parts of the body in that way. Well, like, what kind of, what part of the earlobe am I supposed to chop off to show God that he cares? You know, it's like, no, he wants to touch your dick. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> what's going on there? Hmm. Well, well, he doesn't want question. a vagina. He skipped Mary's all That's another thing. Yeah, like, why isn't that important? You know, he skipped it. What if Religion's loves, a fucked yeah. up thing, man. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. God loves dicks. Yeah. Likes to mutilate them. All gods, yeah. too. It's not just... I, I don't know if Buddhists touch much on the dick other than, yeah, you know, Tao Buddhism with sexual energy and shit like that. Positive dick and, stuff, yeah, there we go. But they don't, like, talk about chopping your kids' dicks or... You know, uh, people die from that shit too. naked with a fucking cat of nine tails and barbs on it. Like, they were very kinky back then. Hmm. Thrust for Jesus. That's our, that's a hashtag <laughs> for tonight. Thrust oh, for yeah. Jesus. Nice. Uh, Did ooh. Jesus ever address that? I don't know. Maybe somebody fucking thing. Like circumcision. Did he ever bring that one back up in his day? There's probably some red letters in the Bible to explain it. Well, Jesus was well cut. Yeah. We all know. Well cut white man. Yeah. Would you yeah. say he was hung? In the Middle East. <laughs> of course, man. That's why all those dudes hung around us. We're like, man, maybe we can learn something. <laughs> We're having a real hard Walking time. Walking on water because like, all these chicks are wet right now. <laughs> Mary's the hottest of them all. You know, she's always around spreading it. Uh, who gets to pick the next topic? This guy. You get to pick the next topic. Alright. Uh, the drugs don't work sounds like somebody... I don't think we actually have from. anything for the drugs don't work this week, oddly enough. Where are you well, seeds and stems is right under that. It's in the same thing. Seeds vein. and stems. Son of a bitch. Fucking, jeez. Louise, Papa Cheese. I'm surprised we didn't have anything for uh, the, the drugs don't work. I have an interesting story of my own on that one, actually. Yeah. Because usually I have uh, a lot of problems getting high on edible marijuana because like, I take a lot and it doesn't really seem to affect me the way a lot of these people around here seem to just get blasted out of their gourd taking minimum amounts. And I'll take multiple hundreds of milligrams and be like, What's the big deal? You know, I'm getting some kind of cool thoughts, but I'm not really feeling too much. Nothing's, you know, and they're really talking about like they're fucking hallucinating yeah, shit. Yeah, never really. Tripping on weed is uh, such a weird thing to me. But this last festival happened. I went to, I took some that were two parts CBD per one part THC, and it was 100 milligrams, so 200 milligrams CBD, 100 milligrams THC. And I was fucking literally seeing fractals of like rainbows. So I don't know you if get that, that was. I just got that from the, the Natural Alternatives 
dispensary yeah. on Trilby in College. Well, we'll have to get some of that. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds, okay. That that sounds very... Uh, it's a little well-led well plug there. <laughs> yeah, man. People need their medication is all I'm saying. But yeah, so I don't know if like I would endorse that experience because it worked for me. I don't know if that was the reason or somebody dosed me at that festival or some shit. I wasn't aware of it, but you know, that was one of the first times I really got zooted out of my gourd on edibles. I've been trying to fucking trip on weed for like a long time. It's been a long time. I've been smoking too long. Maybe like 22 years. Yeah. Well, I've heard uh, that, you know, the... Uh, Edible experience is a different, you know, chemical receptor than the smoking. Yeah. So the tolerance shouldn't be related. I'm not 100 percent on that because I've never dissected a brain or anything. Hey you Robert, man, brain. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Um, I'm sending love to your uh, your family, man. But that's what I've heard. Yeah, right. We'll see. I'll get that Frankenstein monster working. Yeah, man. Have you tried yeah. boofing your edibles? Mm -hmm. Boofing my edibles? Right. Yeah. No, I have that's not. I do. That's no. an interesting concept. I've never really thought about that. Yeah. And they think edible suppositories? Well, I guess it wouldn't be called an edible at that point. Hmm. An anable? Yeah, right. There you go. Nailed it. Let's start a market, Doug. We're going to make money. Doing anables? Anables. Well, they have CBD suppositories. But we need THC. Yeah, so right. We want to step it up a notch. Yeah. Josh says, "Hey, man, just release I the like anxiety of having a suppository in your ass." It seems like a break-even situation there. Well, I boof everything. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in that. And that's what we're supposed to. What we were gonna do for our our next subscriber challenge on YouTube. We did a one gram dab out of a six footer for mm -hmm. our hundred subscriber challenge. Uh, uh -huh. Our five hundred one. We were gonna boof a gram of hash. <laughs> I thought we were boofing NyQuil. Just make sure to grind it nice and fine. That's yeah. yeah. Well, you, I was going to do it hot. I was just going to hook an ain, okay. uh, an e-nail. An e-nail. An e-nail. <laughs> <laughs> right up to it. I mean, that one was a, a thousand grand, or a thousand degree dab, so I figure we got to do it hot. Boof it hot. Well, I guess have a med on site for that. That's my, my suggestion if you're going to do it hot. He's a doctor in Mexico. Yep. Have that uh, ice pack of water wings. <laughs> so, what? No. What were, what were no you going to Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just going to plug Amazon for selling me my certificate to be a doctor in Mexico. <laughs> Only twenty nine ninety five. Free shipping. So you see that the UK, I mean, this, uh, this kid who has been fighting for against the EU... For a while, uh, a mother and a kid trying to get cannabis oil to stop being such an illegal product that it is. Uh, had a big plea happen with the Ireland courts, and they rejected it this week. And that's really sad for us that really do believe in cannabis as a medicine and as a healer and has seen the results of it. Uh, and uh, to know our freedoms here, yeah, shit sucks politically, but I mean, this this lady's fighting for the right to treat her kid. We we can do this here. We can we can give our kids CBD and cannabis oil and heroin. Um, all the time. All the time. It takes uh, a pharmacy man. But it it's really sad to see that the they're not gonna. Um, do anything, but they did return his medication. They're not going to reform it, but they are going to return his medication. Well, that's good. Which is awesome, because they had seized his medication at one point. They yeah. they pressed charges on this lady at one point for... Um, for, uh, like for, 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 like, neglect and abuse, because oh, they were wow. giving the kid cannabis oil. And Didn't the kid have seizures? Yeah, yeah. Have seizures. yeah, that's what bothers me the most, is the obtuseness of just ignoring the results when you can see them pretty much live, you know, like that's, you know, I've seen some pretty extreme examples in researching where you can just watch a person go from, you know, an epileptic seizure back to just completely lucid again. Oh, yeah. Like after moments after being, you know, given the oil. So in, in the cases like that, it's well, it's sad to see that they can just deny it outright like that where it's like, well, what did, what did we all just witness? What is like... We right. can run scientific studies all day, but, you know, well, we, active experience is still worth what it's worth, right? 
Right, and we've also learned that it doesn't necessarily take the psychoactive components of cannabis to treat epilepsy and, and things like that. So we've gotten it to a point where actually the ones that treat the best don't have the psychoactive effects of THC in them for All epilepsy. They have CBD. And, yeah, we drink like a motherfucker. All of us almost. It, it, I, I boost it, my booze. It doesn't have like all those positive. You don't give a kid with alcohol, a kid with alcohol seizures. That would be awful. <laughs> don't give a kid with seizures alcohol. That's just as awful in a different direction, man. <laughs> They'd be all over the place. But uh, yeah, it's just a, this weird double standard. You just disguise it as them being drunk. That yeah, I mean, got into the liquor cabinet. <laughs> uh, Scott, may, uh, let's see, we've got a couple comments going on. Uh, it's weird CBD usually contradicts tripping. Make sure to shave or you'll singe those ass hairs. Oh, when I d- a- 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 dab with the A now. Um, and then Scott McCurtry, McCurtry says, I know that guy. What's up, Sean? What's up, Scott? Good to hear from you. Fucking it. I say things wrong all the time. I don't know how to read names. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's fucked up that yeah, even our government, there are about to be a bunch of changes They that the, the were just given to Sessions. Powers around CBD and, and treating uh, children or people with medical marijuana in general. Um, that's fucked up. Maybe it's just a fear tactic, but... Well, well, we all know it's racism deep down, right? That was how it all started to oh, begin yeah. with. And, I mean, they admitted it, and here we go again. So, at this point, I mean, like, again, uh, I just come from Sonic Bloom, and I was having a discussion with somebody there about, you know, just the weird blind eye that that situation has, and it's a pretty steady aspect of our culture in America that you can do that. You know these festival environments. Yeah, and I think there's definitely a, an affluence situation there, a white privilege thing going on, where it's like, you know, the locals get their bit, but at the same time, nobody's really coming down really hard on these things. They're not being addressed in the open media. Right. That there is any problems there because the people that they're trying to victimize would be their own children. So at that point, they're like, okay, mm-hmm. we're not pursuing any agenda that benefits us. No, in America, we only victimize foreigners' children. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, again, I was going to say, she probably couldn't come over here and get any kind of immigration because of the controversy right now or whatever. But hopefully that's something, if she can't get her child treated in the UK or wherever the hell that's going on. Right. Try to find a way over here. Well, I don't think we put a ban on people from Ireland yet. Yet. Soon. There are a couple, there are a couple statements away from getting put on the list, I'm pretty sure. And that, I'm surprised they, they're not on there because of Conor McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> it's all his fault. Well, there has been a lot of talk about the... That's a good segue, I guess. We could segue into the uh, border whores. Oh, yeah. Um, that, yeah. That's a big topic this week, the, the immigration debate. You know, we're, we're seeing a lot going on with that over uh, these... The separation of children from asylum seekers, uh, from their parents here, uh, in uh, the way we're keeping them. I mean, they're and our lawmakers getting banned from being able to tour these facilities that are set up in old WalMarts and shit like mm-hmm. that. Uh, Which there, fucking pie in the face of everybody who said that was bullshit. Because right. I remember when they were all everybody in you know, conspiracy circles was like, yeah. Walmarts are built to be made into FEMA camps. Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, well, you're full of shit, you're a crazy person, and here we are. Oh, gee, lo and behold. You know? Well, I mean, even Wikipedia today went to the point as putting them in their list of concentration camps. Is that camps. you? Isn't it still user submitted, man? Did you I do think that? it is user submitted. <laughs> was that yeah, Doug man? actually did that. That'd be, that would make sense. Oh, I put it. Yeah. No, I submitted it to theme parks. List oh, of theme oh. parks. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Um, you gotta be this tall to ride those, right? Yeah. That's right. So, I mean, uh, you guys want to weigh in on this? I mean, thoughts? It's controversial, but... Well, I feel like if they have Facebook in Mexico, a lot of these people would know that that's happening. I don't know. I couldn't avoid seeing it in my feed by a thousand people, so... I'm not really into asylum. Are these people coming here not knowing that's going to happen? I don't mean to seem callous, but, you know, at a certain point, you know, 
if the rumors of that are going around, like, and even though you're seeking asylum, you weigh the odds of your circumstance, you know, right? And you're like, well, I don't want my children to be abducted from me, but this is a dangerous place. Right. You know, like, what, or are they just not aware that that's going to occur as soon as they get there? You know, again, I can't, I'm not aware of the level of information that they're getting as they're fleeing from whatever the source of asylum they're seeking. Yeah. I'd probably want my kids to be free range, man. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Not caged? Not caged, no. <laughs> be rough. Yeah, and that's, I think, it, the, we've been doing this for a long time. You know, we, we have been not just at our border, but in our own country. We've been separating parents from their kids. And, but I think the fact of how we're doing it in this is catching the attention more. Because there, there you see the pictures of sure. these kids in cages, uh, which is is, is a definitely a, a scary image to, to see. Um, and also, like, who's their PR guy? Where they're just not like, can't we make these cages a little flowerier? Yeah. Fucking, you know, make. Can we like, have some finger paintings put on this nurse, shit? Nursery like, wallpaper up or something? You know, like make it at least palatable for the media. Let's give them a couple yeah. teen beats. Why are you chasing the lawmakers out? Like, yeah. that's not good. I, I don't know. It's it's definitely. I agree. They should have. Uh, they should maybe hire a better PR rep for that. Maybe yeah, at least get an Weinstein interior designer, or, someone who knows. You know, like Martha Stewart. Throw a pile of stuffed animals in the back of the she room and be like, kind of see, that's, like. Give him a clown to play with, a puppy. You know. Ugh. Mm. If anything, they should just give them to Nike to do manual labor. That's what I was thinking yeah. they were going to do, yeah. Well, that's what they're going to do, but they're not going to talk about it. Right. And, like, you know how Nike does that thing for new athletes that sign with them where they take pictures holding their shit? Just do that with the kids. Make them feel good. Make them feel like they're making the difference. Bring in LeBron. Sure. Uh, Scott says uh, that was a good point. They have to know this might happen. That's Yeah, I mean, you're right on that. They have to. But are these people, like, if they're... I mean, coming in here like that in droves and everything, are they really... Uh, do they have cell phones on them, even? Or... Well, I mean, know. I didn't know. I, don't, I can't assume, but, yeah. you know, if there's a journalist on their side as well, like, wouldn't this be a, a huge story? But, and apparently, like you were saying before, this has been going on for yeah. a while. This isn't a new thing right. by any means. It's just all of a sudden... I feel chaff or like wag the dog type situation. It's like, well, what, what can we stir up people's anger about this right. week? You know, where yeah, yeah. It's we not can a do this. Get, while we do something else and make them not realize what we're doing, right? You know, uh, would we'll get them pissed off about this um, and, and get people arguing again. You know, you, you kept seeing that uh, this was Clinton signed this in. Yeah, he did. And sure. uh, but I don't think he he. He probably signed it in for the Walmarts, actually. I was going to say no, See, but he, yeah, I mean, Walmart paid for his shit. Uh, it's true. They paid for his presidency. They definitely did. Well, that's also what I was saying earlier. I wonder if it was a chicken and the egg thing. If he, they heard this conspiracy theory and they were like, well, that's a great idea. And so they went ahead and did it, maybe, but, you know. It's probably just cheaper. America's well, that was where I think the origin of the concept was, yeah, it was just like, it would be very easily. We were already doing something like that here, in a way. I mean, we uh, we have a Walmart that closed down on Harmony, and then it became a, 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 a school for immigrant children. Yeah. And then it became a Walmart again. So it's it's systematic, system, yeah, so. right? Huh. Very interesting. Fucking weird. I don't know. It's definitely, it's it's a crazy thing, but we definitely, uh, I mean, we put people in cages all the time. Um, children on, in cages, it depends on where you were raised. Nicholas in cages. Nicholas in cages, yes. <laughs> Zing. That was a next level joke, man. It'll tear your face off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just fucking started rolling that boulder. I did, like, didn't I? It was Indiana <laughs> Jones, that bitch. She's down a hole, man. That was rough. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, I don't know. Do you think it... it what? I don't even know what I was going to say. The, the whole uh, 
we're not seeing these people come in. Mm-mm. We're not seeing, and supposedly they're coming in fucking droves, yeah. according to how they've set these things up and everything. Uh, but we're not seeing anything about them coming in. We're not. It's weird. And the thing about it is, like I was saying before, what the persecution they're facing, if they've already made this decision that it's worse than that there, than it is to face that circumstance. So maybe they didn't actively make that, they just fled in terror and that's what happened, but I mean, it's really hard to put a fine point on, you know, each individual's reasoning for why they're doing what they're doing. And again, it's easy to just assume that anybody in a status where something bad happens to them is a victim of all of every other aspect of their character. Mm-hmm. Where and like most of us, you know, some some people maybe they want to fucking somehow abandon their child and they found most, an easy yeah, way to do it. Most like of us are assuming they want to see their kids. Bad people is there are good people, and I'm not yeah. pigeonholing anybody from a certain country. I'm sure plenty of Americans don't want their fucking children. I mean, right. Casey Anthony, fucking perfect example. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I don't know. It, it's weird uh, that it's we don't know how long this has been going on. I guess the way to put it, like, we, like I said, we've been it, shit's been happening at the border with people for a long time. I mean, we had fucking a whole show on people who weren't even border patrol hunting fucking people crossing the border. Yeah, like a reality show, and uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's just a way, like you said, to get us bitch, poking the beast, you know, mm-hmm. see, getting people pissed off at each other and arguing with each other. And, I mean, we saw it on our group today, fuck people arguing back and forth. Oh, and, yeah. Well, and children, I think, are viewed as the most quintessential version of innocence yeah. in everyone's eyes, so anything happening to them, you can immediately evoke a lot of emotion with, and it's just so easy to get people whipped up and not to say that children aren't innocent or that anything bad should happen to them you should ignore it but at the same time there's a also a lot of interesting stuff going on in the news from the other side yeah with children and i think this might be a heavy play to get people's you know to to get in front of it like a preemptive strike to be like oh we care more about children already so anything you hear about us doing against children is probably just you know, bullshit to the contrary, because we got out first. You know, our thing was first. Right. You know, like, but, and the whole thing is just very, like, it's very concerning to me in a lot of ways, especially to to really whip up everybody in this sort of way. And they're not really presenting any solutions is another thing that I'm noticing. It's like, yeah, I can point out problems all day, but that who, what does that do besides get people pissed off if I'm not putting right. out solutions or at least suggesting them? Well, just, let's like, flood the news Debbie Downer with it. at that yeah. point, right? Yeah. Wah, wah. They're, they've just been flooding the fucking news with it. For about two weeks. Oh, I'd it's say. a good way it's also been... to just flush out a lot of these fucking people who have, like, any sort of fringe, you know, ways of thinking, especially with a lot of this SJW, like, scare tactic, McCarthy mm. era, hunt anybody down that, you know, said a word the wrong way in the wrong context in front of enough people. 15 years ago, the yeah. now that we can bring it back up and just be like, you know, just like your community rejects you and everybody loses their job, they lose their power, they lose their influence. And it's not easy to see. It's not, I mean, it's not easy to ignore what's going on when you can see all that happening right. constantly around you. And so if you wanted to flush out a racist or just have somebody have a, make a little off-center comment about race because of this whole children thing, and then next thing you know, next couple of months I was like oh when that happened you said this and now we've got you buddy you're just a fucking closet racist you know like and it's like oh no you're you're unilaterally analyzing everything about that and you're also responding to something that was a hyped up emotional event caused potentially to get people to do that type of shit right so hmm. it's I just hope everybody keeps their head on a swivel and is a, doesn't turn against their friends based on any precariously worded bullshit. That's I think closet racist is a meaner term than most people think. I mean, <laughs> hang shit in the closet. <laughs> That's true. All the time. I burn crosses in the closet. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. 
Uh, I don't. I choke myself in the closet sometimes. It's true. He does like to David carry himself <laughs> quite a bit. That's why he's not allowed to wear a belt over here anymore. Yep. Right. Well, he took my shoelaces, so. Yeah. True. Mine too. Uh, Scott says when you put somebody in a cage, it keeps them from opposing you. Yeah. It's true. And that's another thing is that uh, physical cages are a lot easier to recognize as well. We don't give enough credence to the idea of you know, mentally overpowering someone is a big deal right now in our culture. And that's what I was saying too, with like the precariously worded shit where your whole community turns against you. Right. And like then you're you're kind of in a social cage, cultural <coughs> cage. You have to downplay that physical cages definitely suck and that's probably one of the worst of any of those that you could be in. But uh like let's let's not participate in building a cage either. Like that's whatever metaphorical version of it it is. But I think that's also a thing a lot of people like to ignore. It's like, well, if I can't see it in front of me and I am a part of it, then I'm not really doing anything wrong. You know, it's like, I'm not physically a bar in a cage. But it's like, yeah, but you're actively attacking people for innocuous comments and shit. built the building. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good job. (laughs) You know, this might be the marijuana talking, but what about mime children? Are Dude, they in invisible? Never be are they in invisible cages? There you go. Like, oh, could no. they get up and walk away if they wanted to, but they just think the walls are They're there? Shaking the cage. Yeah. What? 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 Mimes, man. Okay. Shut up, Mike. The joke seems very black and white. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So not a lot of voice behind it. I don't know. I just think the media yeah. is definitely pushing this as hard as they can right now. And I mean, they all of a sudden stories came out of woodworks about this kind of shit and like audio of border patrol agents fucking with people. And it's just I don't know. I think they're they're definitely reporting it more. I definitely don't think it's a new thing. Not or just it's something that can get people riled up and yeah. get fucking mad. It's a measure of control. I mean, I wouldn't be happy to see my kids in the ages. Not at all. Not for more than like Unless 30 I minutes. Them. I mean, I grew up pretty <laughs> impoverished white trash and, uh, you know, there was multiple instances in which the there was a threat of legal action to remove me from the custody of my parents and it's happened again with uh, other situations. So it's I'm not downplaying the immigrant thing, but we do it to our own people within this country, you know, based on really, really lightly reviewed things and these people have to go to court, fight the state themselves. Of course, maybe being a citizen gives you more leverage. I'm not going to argue that, but it's not that it doesn't happen within our own borders to our own citizens. It sucks. And we're not saying that's right. No, it's definitely not fucking right. It's But it needs to be recognized that this isn't right. You know, uh, maybe we need to look at a bigger picture of things. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'd put you in a cage. Again? Yeah. Well, he'd put I him in mean, a cage. You could put him in a water cage right now. He's got water. Yeah, yes. I'd survive. Are cages cheaper than actual, like, nursery type environments, too? Like, what's the overhead on? Well, it what depends on Craigslist, like, where you're at. Mm-hmm. You can get a good one for pretty cheap. It's a little rusty. So that would be my chief concern. It's like, what's the threat that these children pose to them that a cage is the, you know, appropriate. That- confining space well you know if things are as rough in their home country as they say they are those kids probably knife you real fucking yeah. quick well <laughs> they're gonna give them to the catholic catholic church but yeah right we get yeah yeah we're not allowed to give them kids in cages anymore no. <laughs> yeah. thanks again media ruining our fun What's up, Kyle? What's up, Cody? What's up, Joseph? The Rasta Man. From uh, Higher Intentions. Yeah, that's Higher intentions. intentions. Good people. Good people. So, yeah, basically, it's okay to lock your kids in cages, is what we were getting with this whole story. As right. long as no, they deserve it. No, it's not okay. To, no. You can't leave them in a car in the hot sun, but a cage appears to be okay. Well, yeah, it's got air holes. Like, cage with yeah, ventilation, yeah. air conditioning. In know, a giant like, hamster-style water bottle. Sure. Yeah. A wheel. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing you do Gage when you shoot good optics. I think is the issue. Optics is their issue right now. Is that it just it just doesn't look good. No, mm. it looks bad, very very bad. It looks better from like this high. <laughs> right. That's awesome. It's when, half the problem from like this. That's that's true, uh, Cody. Uh, he says when he went to jail, right. my kids couldn't go with me. <laughs> so you get separated. Yes, it works so well. Holy shit! Ways. Did yeah, you right? want them to? Oh man, yeah. that the best, right? My my kids need to be in a prison environment. Saucy hotness. Ah, fuck, man. I don't know. We're just in such a a weird spot. Yeah. As a country. But you know what? It's all Hillary's fault. Yep. I'm saying it right now. And Rudy Giuliani. America's man. America. 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 And the Yankees. <laughs> he says it looks super good. So fucking sexy. You're right. The kids in cages, absolutely. Brian Hickey in the house. Um, you want to go with the next one? Yes. What do you uh, got? Let's see. That's where it happens. That's where it happens. Happens. So you guys want to guess where it happens? Let's see. Guess where it happens. Florida. Oh yeah, it's got to be Florida. Florida. Always Florida. Well, that's yeah. We get that. We can hear all their bullshit, right? Except there was one in Colorado. But we uh, don't acknowledge that. Where was the one in Colorado? The guy that shot the dude. No, uh, the one in Colorado was the one about uh, Waterworld. Being infected with poo water. Oh, oh right. Yeah, we don't we all know that. that. Who's yeah. pretending like they're not the one pooping? Yeah, come on. I poop there every time. Um, we do have a. What is this? How do you pronounce this rapper's name? X X ten, X Tentation. It's a new one by me. X Tentation. Triple X Tentation. Yeah, That's triple how X Tentation. I I don't know. Crossing Cross Tentation. 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 Christ Tentation. What does this have to do with Vin Diesel? I don't get it. Yeah, what is... I think it was random? That's like the most opposite of a headline thing I've ever seen. Police can't solve crime? That's a lawyer saying that. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, this rapper, Xcentation, I don't know, uh, from Florida, was shot to death recently, uh, within the last couple days, I think, maybe today. Uh, and he, he just recently had an album that debuted in the top 20 rap charts. Oh, like, wow. he, he's getting up there. But there's conspiracy theories going on out there. I was speaking my language. That say Drake did it. Hmm. That this is a new Tupac Biggie style rivalry that's been going on between them. Represent. He to, you so know, maybe Shook Knight did. They had beef. <laughs> Well, that, that means that Drake won, right? Well, apparently, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess this guy knew that Drake had a kid that he wasn't taking care of, and that wasn't supposed to be public. Ooh. Pusha T, you know, oh, made yeah. it public. Uh, but at, at Triple X Temptation, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, told Pusha T about it. Snitches get stitches, yeah, man. Yeah, right? Okay. So that holds up. I hear that. Or amazing nicknames, apparently. How do we know he wasn't terminal? But they are saying that it was a random robbery while oh, he was planning a tentacion X X X Tentacion is how you say it. What the fuck? Oh, that's how they put that in there. That's Yawn. While planning to buy a motorcycle. That's a pretty specific detail. That is a random mean. robbery. Yeah. But yeah, crazy shit, huh? This guy, only in Florida. Well, do you, you heard what happened to him a little bit ago, right? He, like, kidnapped a pregnant chick and beat the shit out of her? Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Maybe it was a revenge killer. Allegedly. Huh? Somebody um, find her brothers. That's, yeah, I like to lead on this guy. So you're doing a better job than these police at the detective. Yeah, I, calling I could go to Florida right now and be the police chief. Random robbery. Sounds like we got motive here. Yeah. Yeah, fuck the Yankees. What, kids were a golden ticket to get into this country? Not anymore. I've been trying to figure it out since I heard of them. Fuck that hoe. 
Show. Show. I, I don't know what any of that means. What's our chat room say, Mike? Because it's oh. not updated. Just fucking turn it off. It says things. There, it's back. It says, what do you mean? It says What's right it say? What do you mean? It's there. I can't read it. Doug's lost in the abyss. Lost in the abyss. I, it's missing shit, I know it is. What do you think you get missing there? Missing shit. <laughs> it's working fine. Right, no, it's not it. working on my end, man. All right, all right. Just connect it. I'm going to use a can. I'm going to fix it. Okay. God damn it. No, I mean, it's working on there. It's not working. Never mind. What are we keep, fucking talking about? Keep the chat the way it is. <coughs> keep the chat the way it is. Good, sir. What? It's not <laughs> updating on my end. That's what I'm saying. It's because your computer sucks. Uh, like what that. do we got? Trump's enemies are the enemies of free humanity. Trump is fighting the good fight, Cody says. JK, JK, dude, Florida is where shit's popping. Dude just got shot. Joseph Rostaman Rail. I believe that as uh, well. Rail. 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 Tend towards some random shit and if he's flashing shit around. Uh, Brett Andrews says XXX Tentacion. Thank you, Brett. Adam's got a point right and there. What's up, Brett? Good to see you. Drake definitely did it. He rolled by in his Degrassi wheelchair. Yeah, I was about to say, the dude could get out of a chair long enough to aim straight. Um, he used the gun that crippled him. Bah, bah, bah. Are you doing okay over there, Mike? What? What? He's freaking out, man. What are you talking about? Did old Mike? Maybe yes. Mike? At the bottom. Chris doesn't know how to spell it. Is right. chat working So I guess you're going to assume that he's going to kill more important it, people soon, right? Because he starts at the bottom. The yep. Stream Maybe he's just cleaning up rap mind. music. Yeah, get, all, get rid of all the stupid gotcha. ones. He's going to the Lils next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had enough of those. People named after uh, cough is, syrups and stuff. Can you just call them Lil Talent from now on? Their shit glitching. Lil Talent. Are we glitching, y'all? On your some, end? Uh, Are we glitching? We started talking some real shit. We got D. What are they called? Demonetized? They probably oh, we already know. did. Oh, we that got demonetized happen. a long time Hell ago. Yeah. YouTube fucking dropped us like a son of a bitch. They make a symbol for that yet? Well, like a dollar sign with a cross yep. across it? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. They no do. more money for you. No more. Uh, hopefully it's not glitching on no, that Nobody's telling us. What? Nobody's chatting. Nobody's telling Everybody's us dead. Care. This is the sixth sense, Doug. I don't care. No, no, All right, roller coaster. Uh, there was a roller coaster that was derailed this week in Florida. Uh, the hit, like it fucked some people up pretty good. Uh, the it, two riders fell 34 feet when the car derailed last Thursday and was left dangling from the track. Yeah. And it wasn't supposed to do that? It wasn't supposed okay. to do that, yeah. Right. But I guess right. tr this roller coaster has a history of shit. That's what I figured. Yeah, that they've had to, like, put it out of commission a couple times. For What's the theme park? Daytona Beach? Um, it's probably the board... I think it was the boardwalk, yeah, the beach boardwalk in Daytona. Well, fuck roller coasters, man. Those things suck. I always feel like I'm about to die when I ride this. That's kind of half the point, too, right? So yeah. they, just, they just got yeah. the advanced yeah. experience. Those like, people got, like, the, the good treatment. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Their heart was racing. You look fine, Chris. You I feel like I'm fine. obligated into riding one of those every time I do. I'm like, why would I want to get on a basically a fucking, what's essentially a death machine? To feel alive, yeah, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like... What if it was one of the ones that like straps you in from the crotch, oh, no. and then just like throws you, and then you're just stuck there? I mean, even Ferris wheels fuck up, and then you know, yeah, you get stuck up there. Things only go a little bit at a speed at a time. You're gonna get on something. That's just... Yeah, somebody high on meth climbs up the happens. side. They're Seems just like... trying to attack you. <laughs> Some super negligence. Fuck them, man. Yeah. No. Twice already they they sh had to work on it. Yeah, like they put it out of commission. Did it bring itself back up? Is it? The yeah, sentient right? roller coaster. It's got the AI. It's yeah, trying to kill people Florida now. Florida carnies just reconstruct it and get it going again. Oh my god. The bootleg roller coasters. Yeah. I think. Who are these passengers? Are they Mexican children? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah let's look into or that. Maybe this is like the weaponized airplane shit I was yeah. talking about. Like maybe the, the wrong guy got on this roller coaster and they just need to take somebody out. 
right? It was it was one it important in person. Rick and Morty. And then a bunch of kids. There you go. Set precedent right there. Yeah, where's yeah. your Rick and Morty? Can't go wrong. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. Yeah. They scare me. But in like an erotic way, I just, I'm not allowed to ride them anymore because of the boners. Oh, like yeah, when you get off, they kick best. you out. Cause well, roller coasters are the most fun you can have peeing on a stranger, man. Whoa. I've never even thought about that. I'm going to Six Flags tomorrow. Right? <laughs> Oh, oh, I always forget to take the pennies out of my pocket. There's some trapels. Sure. Yeah. Give me that. No, I'm giving you this. No. Okay. But uh, Doug, do you like roller coasters? Uh, mm -hmm. you know, not really. I had a very fucked up experience. Lisa says we're not though. glitching at all, by the way. I'm gonna say we've got somebody a, cares. pretty much 100 yeah, percent ratio. What are you me. feelings on this? We've got like yeah, almost everybody here thinks roller coasters suck. They actually, you blame the Jew. Oh, you know, I had a. I was I, riding a roller coaster at Six Flags in uh, San Antonio. Oh, I've been there. And uh, yeah, Fiesta Texas Amazing. and the Boomerang. Oh, all right, uh, cool. Yeah, that one's scary as balls. Yeah, and I especially was, if you get wet first. I wasn't it's wet. It's Flash Mountain. I wish I was. was. Yeah, it was me. Um, but I was riding with this kid <laughs> who was about three <laughs> times my size. Sure, was like, it in a cage? Big. He wasn't in a cage. <laughs> well, what the fuck, until man? Until after. <laughs> okay, go on. But a uh, big dude. So he and was white. When <laughs> they walked the bar down, it uh -huh. just kind of locked. Mm -hmm. And we were coming up over... That one comes down uh, around you. Yes. Yeah. Like... The, not in the crotch. No. no that one oh, that is comes just down the, with the bar. bar. With just the bar. The bar. Right, yeah. right, right. And uh, we were coming up one of the loops, and mm -hmm. that fucking bar popped up. No. And I had to fucking walk my feet into the car. Oh, you're a hero. And wrap my arms around it to fucking not fall out. The other kid was fine. His stomach stopped him. <laughs> but that was one of the fucking scariest things. And they made us like fill out all this one paper. Of the only I probably shouldn't be talking you about it. You probably should have got a check out of it. Yeah, did you? No. Being oh, fat was a Sounds like you could have owned a theme park. For a moment. Well, part of you going, yeah, for him, it was yeah. a super advantage. Um, But uh, I think when you go into a park, you... Assume all liability. Okay. I think there's rights signs as a human being. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you have no rights beyond this point. Also, no about. alcohol beyond this point. <laughs> yeah, right. Like the only thing, uh, I don't know. Uh, certain places do have that with it. I mean, there was that fucking water park that beheaded that kid. Yeah. Yep. And they that they got paid like a motherfucker for that, like eighteen million. Or the theme park? No, the parents. Oh, okay. so they so were able to see. What about the other people in the fucking ride, or was he alone? Because I feel like they get pretty traumatized. On too. Uh, it, was, was, it was a was water, the water slide, slide oh, and okay, it, yeah. it like caught him, and he deca got decapitated. Yeah. I just want to know. Was wondering how many other kids he sent down before they realized that happened. Well, he was at the head of the head of the situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know that <laughs> lawsuit. Up, though, from there. <laughs> that lawsuit really helped his parents get ahead in life. Yeah. Ooh. That was weak. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. you, Mike. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. Tourette's. You're running around like a kid with your head cut off. Sometimes. That nah, was bad. That was slightly uh, better. Anyways, uh, no roller coasters. They 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 suck. I think yeah, they're dangerous. I know my luck. Yeah. I have terrible right. luck, so I don't need to be on a roller coaster. Yeah. So stop taking mirrors on roller coasters. Whoa. Dropping things. Seven years every time. Bad times. Plus, you know, the shards. <laughs> right, Sean. Uh, right. <laughs> I thought it was to show the person next to you the fear on their face. Be like, oh, look at how stupid yeah. you look. Well, it's not thing, like, photo bombing on a roller coaster is the best. Because I never buy those photos. But, like, you know where the camera's at mm -hmm. after, like, one ride. And you know the so family you know that's behind you or the, <laughs> the best friends forever that are like, we're going to have the best photo ever. And you're just like, no, you're then not, you're like, bitch. <laughs> no, you're not. Just wait till I pull this child with a cage. Boom. Wait ah. till I whip my dick out. Probably. Or that. Are you get vomited mean, on on a roller coaster? It's never no happened. Way, but man. it seems like it's got to happen it's pretty fucking happen. often. Yeah. Yeah. It happens every time he whips his dick out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Not just on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never puked on on a ride, but I've had a teacup ride fuck me up. But 
I was also on drugs, like lots of drugs, and I puked in front of a family, like right at their feet. He says teacup ride, but it's actually like a sit ever. and spin at a Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! I'm on a teacup ride! No, that's called LSD and MDMA. Shut up, Larry. Candy flavor. God damn it, don't go away. Just because if it's a small world playing in the background, <laughs> doesn't make it a teacup. That's what they play at the detention camp. Mm -hmm. All the time. <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> oh, the camp's actually where Oompa Loompas come from, man. After their will's broken, they're just dunked they're just in paint. Dunked in paint, and they give them those pants. And they're like, chocolatier, that's what you'll be. <laughs> they just, they ship them out to different professions. Yeah. It's like, this is what you're going to be. They have like a sorting hat, but it's another cage they just put on their heads. <laughs> they already know how to sell chiclets. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh... What were we even talking about, man? Roller oh, coasters, that's where man. It happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, roller coasters. The capitation. They suck. Did you have an opinion on those? I oh, try to no. get 100% like, validation that they're terrible, but. My girl loves them a lot, so I go on them with her. Okay, that's so. That's basically my the service. relationship with roller coasters. <laughs> my life is a roller coaster. See, so, yeah, I just tear them down. They're fucking gonna fall apart anyway. That's. They're death traps. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you always hear uh, fucked up horror stories. When are they going to turn that hedron collider a ride? That's what I want to get on. <laughs> yes. Time of your life, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we expect to be like making self driving cars and shit. We can't even keep a right? fucking roller coaster on a track. <laughs> are we trying That's another roll of the death dice right there. Self driving cars, shit. Are we lowering ticket pr prices for a reason? Maybe, you know, there's your conspiracy theory, man. How many of those rides take out poor people? No, we mentioned it when you were in the bathroom. Like oh. Maybe the wrong person got on the fucking seat, and they were like, this, this one falls off the track, You're talking buddy. about the wrong person on the wrong seat while I was yeah. in the bathroom, man? That's <laughs> fucked up, man. I know you said to be. That's a level two joke, man. You gotta flush that joke, man. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't do that. Maybe at X... X X ten tacion was a part of this. I believe it. Ooh, yeah. His name does sound like a roller coaster. It's I, it, pronouncing right it next is to a the, roaster. Right mm -hmm. It's X X X ten shit. What? Can't you hear her? Exactly. <laughs> It, X, 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 Tentacion? It depends on the carny that's working the ride at that moment, what it's called. I never heard of him before, if that means anything. I haven't heard of him either. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You go to a fucking theme park, does it look like the... I mean, the people who are running those rides, do they look qualified Not to be... Well, like bachelor's, oh, yeah. master's degrees, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're engineers. I'm pretty sure I can get a job there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're a convicted felon. <laughs> tomorrow! I not like convicted, in a week. Uh, convicted no, conspirator. On top of that, that which is why I have we have conspiracies, because I've pulled one off before. They're not fucking hard. Yeah. Hmm. We could start one tonight. We should. We could. Can you no one fact check us. Nobody. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. So needy. Yeah, I should have brought more. <laughs> Doug, can I have a cigarette? Are you good smoking here? Why not bring smoke? No, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Fine, I didn't want to give it to you. Okay. Um, that's first. Want to pick a topic? Me? Sure. Uh, how about. No gov, no love. No gov, no love. Let's go for the low hanging bronze oh. fruit. So, a no Republican. Okay, Houseman, like himself. Uh, They'll go be or congressman, <laughs> <laughs> says that porn is contributing to school shootings. See, this ties back into the video game addiction, because porn is kind of just like, in its way, it, a, a video an addiction game. to, a, yeah, sort of a, would be the oldest video game of all times, if you, you know. I, you it used a joystick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like Atari all over again. Right, you have an A and B button, sort of. <laughs> 
And women have a mouse. So. Yeah. 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 Now they see, that's, I mouse. feel like no internet porn probably prevents a lot of school shootings. I feel no more than I forget all of my concerns after a nice peruse through some internet porn. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's their... A nice peruse as if he's a mall walker. Yeah, right? just <laughs> window shopping as it is. Just doing a little <laughs> through the porn, the Russian mail order brides, Yeah, you that know, seems whatever. backwards Just going through the rabbit hole. They just believe it? That's like, yeah, yeah. The governor of Tennessee believes that. She, yeah, she, she's running for governor. Oh, running, okay. Um, she, she says that it, uh, it, it helps deteriorate the, uh, family. <laughs> And the support system. But don't and worry about any... Nah, not as much of the incest stuff that I've watched. The family is intact. That's, yeah, yeah, they're very close. <laughs> very intact. Yeah, man, that's... Wow. <laughs> I feel like this person... They probably never even looked at it. They're just going over rumors. This, so anyone out of that kind of opinion is... Yeah, it's like, you got to get your hands dirty in order to form an accurate opinion of this stuff. Um, I guess it was a pun intended. Plus, there. whose idea was it to start this research? Like, oh, huh. do we have to make sure that porn's not connected to violence? Well, do they do a search children? history? Because it's also how do you do that? How do you even do that? Search history of a school shooter's internet. Like, okay, first off, let's look at everybody else's search history, right? Yeah. We're not going to see conclusively different things. Like, they went to porn more than anybody else. Right. Like everyone okay. eats pizza. Does yeah. pizza make you kill people? Right. Plus oh, but pizza. they, yeah, exactly. I feel yes. like we're doing a reverse analysis here. And, yeah. And who's this person qualified, you know? I mean, what kind of porn are we talking? That's another good issue, X, X, too. X, X, I've never once seen a school shooter porn. Like, that's... Tentacle porn. Yeah. yeah. No, I've, no, I mean, I've tried to find it. I'm a, yeah, I've, I've tried to find it. No school shooter porn. No school shooter There's some Japanese stuff that comes pretty close, but... Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Usually like, an anime porn. Mm. Or on okay. a train. Mm -hmm. yep. You want to run a train? What? No. What'd you say? No. <laughs> like, like the Asian on a train. You want to run an Asian train? Yes. No. Cup. Yeah. What do they Asian pixelate train. in the Japanese school shooter porn? Yes. All the money shots. <laughs> Shooting. And I always wondered, did the artists have to draw the pixelation, or do they actually get to draw the vaginas? You know, and then you imagine that aftermarket job. the pixelation, so they're like, yeah, I'm satisfied. Just that is someone's job. Right. <laughs> that's someone's job. Afterwards. <laughs> Producers <laughs> like, no, that's not good enough. Sure. I will. I need will clean that up. Yeah, right. That's why I feel like, yeah, that's the uh, the whole tentacle thing. It's like, yeah, I drew like. 15 frames of vagina, but I'm not drawing a bunch of dicks. We're, we're making tentacles for this. That's the other department. Oh, mm. sure. I love baseball. Kobayashi. I don't... Porn's never made me want to shoot somebody. Like I said, the exact opposite, really, yeah. in my experience. Uh, On the maybe. So I usually I just want to curl up, yeah. suck my thumb, and take a nap. What <coughs> 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 hand? Like, That's for you. To oh God! Say. There you go. You. Whichever hand you want, baby. Whoa. For real. Um. We're gonna get down on it. Oh man. Um. Porn. <laughs> um. Porn. Oh, space force. Space, right. space force. What do you guys space think force about porn. the space force? Has that been done yet? <laughs> of course it has. Space force porn. Space force. I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> you know, engineering, and they've been doing it where they're just yeah. not telling us about it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's <laughs> not going to be a new thing. <laughs> or they're giving the previous version of it a new name to make it look like it's a new thing. <laughs> like I, I don't I don't doubt in, in any way that <laughs> Space Force has been around for a while and that it's a great name for a porn. You think the first yes. time we'll fill your space <laughs> even by force? <laughs> Sorry, what? I was just thinking of Space Jam and the Space Force. <coughs> <There. coughs> Dude, like when you're in the Navy, sometimes they have Top Gun Saturdays where they play like all the music from Top Gun and you play volleyball. <laughs> but when you're in the Space Force, I bet they play Space Jam and you have to play basketball and shit and dress up like furries and stuff. It's just 
my prediction for the future. You know what's really weird? Before you guys got here today, we listened to the Top Gun soundtrack. No, you did. Yes, yeah. we did. Oh, dangerous. And we played zone. we played some volleyball. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, we did. Volley. It, it, it was like your balls. Yeah. 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 You got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, we play volleyball just we have a different. It's volleyball. Yeah, definition of volleyball. 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 Right. 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 We listen to uh, <laughs> XXX Ken Pacey Owens. There's a reason there's a padlock on the outside of outside of this door, not yep. the inside. Not the inside. Don't, don't be that. safe. You notice the it's padlock. just like a fucking tomb. You know of course I notice the padlock. <laughs> you know what's fucking hilarious room. about that fucking padlock? I don't know the fucking combination. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Excentation. Well, combination is we'll kick the bitch. It out. got him in the news about Excentation. That's at least something. Cause now yeah, I've heard well, it. I mean, yeah. apparently he's a good mumble rapper. <laughs> mumble rapping. That's my, yeah, oh, uh, God. Now, right. should. Do you think we're going to see a whole recruitment team for the Space Force? <laughs> Are they going to need <laughs> a recruitment team, though? <laughs> How many people want to go to space? <laughs> I do. 100% of people. Well, 80% of people. Some people are dumb. Yeah. Okay, let's make it 40% of people. If I understand, the qualifications to get into space are pretty fucking high-end. Like, wasn't that the, the whole... Well, it's a very high job. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at, like, a qualification deficit here? Right. <laughs> well, if uh, one of the dudes from NSYNC can get into space... <laughs> It can't be <coughs> that hard, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe we got to learn to dance good and sing in unison with people. Is Space Force just going to be a George dance party? It's like going to be K-pop? <coughs> Space, Force. Space, Force. Yeah, Space Force. Space Force. Space mm. Force. It's the new Menudo. <laughs> We're on to something here. I think you are. Space Force. <laughs> Mark Kelly is saying it's a it's a dumb idea. What? Astronaut Mark Kelly. Huh. That's this guy. He, it looks like he's riding a Segway. Right? Or he's I, peeing into I a tube. just one competition. Like, the fewer people in space, the more prestigious I am. <coughs> Tang stock will go up. <laughs> yeah. And freeze-dried ice cream sandwiches. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> even That's not what space even they looks say like. why the U.S. already has a space force. Okay, yeah. <coughs> At the space command in he that is headquartered in Colorado. Yeah, it's a no. Red. I thought that. Yeah, it's a Cheyenne sure. Mountain. It's the Stargate. I hope the Stargate's there, man. Yeah. I'd love to go check that out, man. Space force. Hang out with MacGyver, you know, right. old things. Well, Space Force, is that when you invade somebody's safe space? Yeah, you force yeah, yourself yeah, you should, in their space. Space Force, and then they're like, ah, I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered. <laughs> yeah, I give it, a, give it a solid month of mentioning Space Force before it gets me to I hear it's going to be commanded by Br uh, Bruce Willis. Ooh. Oh snap! Mm. Shit's about to get nice. real, and uh, it's gonna have a really awesome soundtrack from Aerosmith. <laughs> well, they should definitely have. We should have went with Patrick Stewart, man. They He's need a solid nukes. commander, even though he was always a captain. He definitely is a captain, isn't he? <coughs> He's quite the space sailor, if you will. I feel like they're also just trying to play off of the popularity, the popularity of. You know, Star Wars right now. Yeah, it's it's catchy. Space Force. Fuck. Ooh. You put that on a T-shirt with a rocket ship on it. Yeah, those are coming. I'd pay nineteen ninety five for it. Big Space you Force would. shirts. I mean, he's he's fringing on it. Yeah. For sure. Soon you're gonna have one of those that says Space Force. Do they have jersey numbers on it? Oh gosh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Could I be number two? Shit. I'd be number 69. <laughs> ah, here we go. Always. For we used to have a segment on the show called As Listed by Craig, <coughs> where we would pull up different ads from Craig's list that would guess prices on them. Oh, no. And we'd also have, like, personal ads that we would respond to. 
Hmm. But we saw a really dark side of humanity. Sure. You went on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense to me. Bright screen, dark place. Into the personal ads of Craigslist. We had to stop looking local because... Uh, Craigslist had to close yeah. some of the personal ads yeah. of Craigslist. Yeah. They were because so of that reason. Your own yeah. ads started coming through. Yeah, well, we, we saw some friends <laughs> on there and we're like, hey, we need to talk. We never did. Craigslist had to close. What the yeah. fuck, the dog? <laughs> There's an echo in this bitch. Echo, echo, echo. No, it wasn't me. Echo, 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 echo. <coughs> my, my chat hasn't been updating on our end, guys, so I, I don't can't think it's see. updating over here either. Mm -hmm. Locked on final destination. Maybe that was the last <laughs> comment. Yeah, nobody, nobody's commenting. People don't care anymore. Yeah, people don't care anymore. It's <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> like, listen to these assholes. <laughs> oh, whoa, man. Coughing break, I'm done. Yeah, we try this. So, uh, <laughs> over 600 United Methodists have filed a church complaint against Sessions for his use of the Bible in certain <laughs> press conferences lately justifying the immigration crisis. That's a lot of, uh, <coughs> a lot of Methodists. I didn't know there were that many. Oh, shit. Uh, it's just the clergy? God. Yeah, the clergy and the lady, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, that one. I don't know. That's that. some Methodist <laughs> theological <laughs> terminology. Is it? Look at that. There's the dirty dog himself. Right, he looks angry. He looks angry. He kind of looks like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> yeah, he does. And a little Mr. Magooish. It's weird. So, yeah, I think it's great that uh, his own people are going after him. It's kind of funny. For using the Bible. That's For using yeah, the I didn't Bible. even know there was like a, a church, a, a court of church law. That's what that had said. There was something like oh, that. Every church has yeah, their own court. That's crazy, has man. Their own like court line, yeah. Why would Frank's I want to be list governed by recruiting another space cadets to meet laws, in Doug's man. basement and bring snacks? Yes. Many snacks. Many snacks. Oh, yeah. Well, snacks would be great. I should be some snacks. it. Yeah, we do have snacks. It's called marijuana. Yeah. I'm going to eat it. Yeah, I'm going to get pizza on the way home. That's for sure, man. Mm -hmm. It's got to happen. We we should order pizza and then invite the pizza guy onto the podcast. And like, sorry, we don't have any money, but we'll put you on the air. This isn't like you're not gonna bang some hot blonde in here in exchange for the pizza fee, but we have a green room. <coughs> the last one and some weed. Yeah. This one. Well, the one about room. us leaving the foreign. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh we this left the, the UN we... Human Rights Council. This has happened multiple times in Trump's presidency yeah. and throughout uh, American history, but uh we're not actually allowed to be <laughs> in organizations according to the Constitution. <laughs> like one of the reasons why so the League of Nations when then historically we never joined that. And then like we we we're not allowed. Our constitution prohibits us from being in these massive global So what, you don't agreements. think it's gonna matter or what? Yeah. You don't think it'll matter? So the, that nobody ever brings that matter, up, right? or it's not cited, or the people oh, like who are right. bullshitting about this don't know the actual lore, you know, like the the you know our country's fucking what we're supposed to do. It, it really bothers me, and it's really so. It's like whether we do that or not. It's like well, they're rewriting the course here. Mm -hmm. well, saying anti-Israel, Israel's yeah. I don't know about open air prisons, but they're not great. <laughs> oh man. It's better than a closed air shower, I guess. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that one's that, rough. That was <laughs> Thank you. I um, like you, Sean, man. You're alright. <laughs> So yeah, basically we're leaving, if you didn't hear, we're leaving the UN Human Rights Council. Uh, because it's supposedly anti-Israel. They are. They are. They are. The UN is anti-Israel. No way. So yeah, I'm torn on this one because, yeah, no, Israel's fucking up. They're doing their they're, 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 shit. And, uh, us leaving, like, we shouldn't be in this 
organization, but we also shouldn't be on the side of Israel. Like that's. <coughs> well, I'm gonna drink um, one of these they, honey They murder things, people man. every day. Do it. Honey's good for your throat, right? Yeah. Something like that's that. strong as fuck. They murder people people every day. Is that they're not people? They're Palestinians, man. Exactly, and that yeah, exactly right. That's yeah, <laughs> what? Something wrong? It's, <laughs> not if you're in Israel. Was it unfunny? See what I did there? See what I did there? <laughs> it's a circular joke. We're not in a circle. I'm trying anymore. to find the other story. <laughs> But yeah, I don't disagree. I'm but, just uh, putting we're, my. We're both gonna get murdered by Mossad, so oh, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going go down. Um, we, 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 I had a story that. Oh, here it is. So <laughs> they're using, in Israel, Hamas <laughs> is <laughs> using terror kites yeah. Yeah. and arson balloons. Like nice. Japan used in World War II and blew up some of uh, like uh, California and stuff. <laughs> like, this is an old school Egyptian effect, tactic though. too. Yeah, the, uh, Egypt the, did that the carrier too. pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. America experiment. China does it too. They just call like the festival of lights. lights. So that's that's what it attached to just story. any structure whatsoever, not mm -hmm. their target, so it didn't really work. Yeah. But the carrier pigeons went right back to the target because that's they would just steal the enemy's carrier pigeons and Fucking release them, man. That was like ancient. That's tactic. harsh, man. Yeah. That's so really harsh. This isn't new. Kites are, uh, you know, you can't really direct a kite that much. I'd say no. a drone would be it's better. pretty, though. But I guess it's cheap. That's what I was saying. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. It's colorful. And fun. <laughs> what kind of lightweight ordinance you got on that thing? I guess just a fucking burning torch. <laughs> like, how do they keep it from burning the connecting kite string? I guess metal? I don't know. That's the point of it, though. It burns one piece off, then it falls. It falls like a bomb. Piece. Okay, yeah. Like a zip zilch if you've ever done acid, man. If you have well, not, get on Wikipedia. Yeah, and again. <laughs> and I don't support any the hypocrisy or on this sort of. Sort of I don't know if you guys are aware but of But read this, about it. Reading the, is fun. The Molotov cocktail, right? This is like, this is basically the, more you the, know. This is the new Molotov cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, well, you, they're using flaming rags and, and yeah. explosives. This is yeah. basically a new version of that, yeah. yeah. They've created a G. <laughs> like the, the improvisational version Did of tell fighting you? back in. That's, I don't know. I saw a guy throw so a Molotov what cocktail at a bus What am I supposed to feel bad for the Israelis in this? No. Again, like... Like what I just stated, like you can't just outright murder people because you don't think they're people, and then feel make me feel bad because they use a kite to fight back. Like that's, I don't know. Mm. I think it's ingenious, and I think yeah, it's equivalent to the Molotov cocktails that fucking you know they built back in the day. Yeah, no, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I I kind of like. I don't know. It seems legit to me. So yeah, the Palestinians are fighting back with kites and balloons. Sorry, Cora. They're saying it's caused more than two million dollars in damage so far. Well, they have to have like pro kite flyers. Yeah, I was just and wondering how many clowns are they at stopping are, yeah. a kite too? Like, what is that? Like, how good are you if you can't? <laughs> like balloons? They're like, I got this. They send it out. Next thing you know, paper airplanes will be a fucking thing. Just ah, ooh, little airplane. gliders. <coughs> it's yeah, in I'm modern like, warfare. Why wouldn't it have been in, be in there on high alert when like the wind kicks up for that? Is that ooh, that'd be rough. What well, if it's not windy at all? With hydrochloric yeah, you acid. Then you yeah, use a balloon that day, I guess. Yeah. Or the wind shifts. Yeah. It's just kind of hard to hit a target with that. Yeah. You just go for random. There's no wind. It all there. sounds like hot air to me, man. No wind. No wind. Hmm. Not on the Gaza Strip. Well, what are we talking like balloons that are next, right? Yeah, they use balloons. Maybe that's too, like yeah. the inherent fear of clowns people have. Right. Balloon bombs. They were using balloon bombs, too. Is that where that song 99 Red Balloons comes from? Because mm -hmm. that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's why they were red. Yeah. yeah. It's like foreboding, man. Luft. That's some deep shit Luft, right Luft. there. Luft balloons. Balloons. Luft balloons. Luft. Boom. That song makes so much sense now. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> 99 Palestinian loft kites. <coughs> I think it did have something to do with that. It would make. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, no. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm not going to say it. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say it'd be more cost effective if they used the free condoms that the World Health Organization hands <laughs> out and filled those with helium. Because then they would have to buy balloons. But I wouldn't say that because that's. 
way fucked up, so let's go and move on. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say something like that. Mm -hmm. No. No. It's a dick joke on a different level, like way up in the sky, and it's explosive too. What a money <laughs> shot. What a money shot indeed. But I'd never say that, Doug. Ever. I don't think I'd ever hear you I say that. I would never, ever. Never, ever. Ever. <laughs> This honey beer is good, man. <laughs> it's tasty. Yeah, it is. Um, so did you hear about this West Point dude? Mm-hmm. They booted his ass for supporting communist revolution. <coughs> <coughs> they booted his the ass. During the graduation ceremony, they booted his ass. Because he did it in uniform. Yeah. You're allowed to, like, I was in the Navy, man. You're allowed to support whatever cause you want. As long as you don't say you're affiliated with the military, man. The minute you do, you breach this law that, that says, like, you have to be an ambassador of military ideals. Right. Like, you have to, like, be a, a soldier when you're wearing a soldier's uniform. You can't be a communist when you're wearing a soldier's uniform. Right. When you're not on duty, man, you can be a communist all day. Yeah. You can moonlight as a communist, as a socialist, as a fascist. That one's a little harder, though. Yeah. But, yeah, you get my point. <laughs> So do you think it's right that he ended up getting kicked out? I mean, that's I kind of do fucking, because that yeah. was dumb, man. Like yeah, he can have those ideas as long as much as he wants, man. Just like, don't show them off. Yeah, like if you support free the nipple, do you whip your tits out at Applebee's at work? I have. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say you're a woman and you support that. That doesn't mean you should do it while you're serving tables at Applebee's. It's not the time and place, get man. You would get well, way better Well, yeah, tips. but that's beside the point. I mean, you guys make two valid points, all right? <laughs> and it's just the tip of the iceberg, but... Mm, it's just not the time and place, man. It's not the time and place. <coughs> God, I can't stop thinking about poops now. God damn well, it. Well, you know, whatever. It's <laughs> I think it's fucking... I, he deserved it. Yeah. Yeah. I think he just wanted the publicity. I kind of think he wanted the degree from West Point and then to get out. Because people do dumb shit just to get out. Because he got out of his contract. Whoa. He got a degree. He uh, he actually had served as an army or anything. <laughs> yeah, Afghanistan. he already had all his yeah, training and shit. Service. Like, he yeah. got out with, like, a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm sure whatever, wherever he actually wants to work would be affiliated oh, with that somehow. Vi Vice is going to hire this yeah, guy. Yeah, someone's going to be like... Scoop him right up. Thought mm. he was gonna do security for Prophets of Rage. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's gonna be Tom Morello's personal bodyguard. Well, yeah. Isn't that uh, Zach De La Rocha on his <laughs> shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. I think it is. That's a good one. Oh Jesus! What's next? Is it my turn? Whose turn is it? I don't fucking uh, know anymore. Oh, it's not fine. mine. Oh my god. Celebrities? Sure. We could. We kill some celebrities. Why not? Fucking right. Alright, celebrity Deadpool, guys. Yeah. It's time to get your suggestions. Who's even still in. alive anymore? We shit. have uh, <laughs> too many of them. <laughs> All of That's them. who. Who's even still alive anymore, man? Uh, we've got our list going. Let me pop it up. Oh, yeah. It's time. Celebrity Deadpool. <laughs> Celebrity Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have some like cheesy nineties sitcom <laughs> solo. Probably a little riff. <laughs> Seinfeld esque. I think Tom Cruise is on the list. <clears throat> check yeah. uh, I, I will check. Little Tommy Cruise. Thomas Cruise. My guess for him is motorcycle accident. Yep, Tom Cruise is on here. I slash, definitely put him on there. Slash stunt. Let's say who's got toxoplasmosis? That stuff makes you shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's not specific at all, man. <laughs> Gene Hackman and Tony Bennett. I don't think either one of them. I think I actually put Gene Hackman on really? there. Let's Pretty sure. Gene. Yeah. Tony Bennett, that's cold. Nope. Oh. 
And I know Tony Bennett's not on here. Is Fluffy still alive? Yeah, Fluffy. but I think he is on Dude. the list. <laughs> I bet Flavor Flav is on his way. Have you seen that guy? It looks like you put him in the microwave. I I haven't <laughs> seen him in the last like few years, but if he looks worse than he did, then for sure. Yeah, he looks like a peep you put in the microwave and didn't let it blow up, <laughs> and then you let it like cool back Shrimble, down. Yeah, and it's like. <laughs> so like, what's worse you know than what the saying? crypt keeper? Mm, he's not quite there yet. That's why I think the he's going to get there. Yeah, he's almost there though. That clock is just going to. Yeah, it's going to weigh. It's going to get stuck him. in something. Ooh, like an escalator. Like something lame. Like, oh, like a escalator. Ferris wheel. Oh, Ferris. I can see him on a Ferris wheel, man. Yeah, mm, he no. he don't like those heights. Who? Yeah. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. He yeah. might be on. I'm not. I'm not saying Flavor Flav. I'm saying. Yeah, he's, he's saying Flavor go. Flav. No, Flavor Flav. I am so surprised. Yeah, wow. he's gonna oh, die next there, week. So, yeah. And you said Harrison <laughs> Ford, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's time for hmm. Flavor Flav to die, man. It's, it's, see what it might there. have been time. Harrison Ford's <laughs> dodged a lot of bullets, too, man. He sure He's, has, man. You're right. He might not be out of luck. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Harrison Ford, you said? Harrison Ford, for sure. Is it two R's? I don't fucking know. I can't I, spell I, or read. <laughs> it's going to happen retard. when he's driving solo, man. <laughs> In a Vaughn. <laughs> He's not gonna dog will be right there. His dog will make it. <laughs> I thought he'd crash a plane. <laughs> sure, crash it could be a plane, plane, whatever. He's gonna run with a blade and accidentally stab himself. Yeah. Right through the heart. Or maybe he's just gonna die of old age. Because no. he's old as fuck. He is old. It's probably gonna be a stroke. Yeah. That's what old people die of. Strokes. <laughs> Half of them dies anyway. The other half dies like two weeks. Two later. R's. In stroke, no, there's one R. What up, Justin? How you doing? <laughs> I think Meryl Streep's gonna commit suicide. That's. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Justin. Because she's gonna die in a self-driving car accident. That's what's gonna happen. Meryl Streep? Yeah. She the car's gonna alive. take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It's like Princess Diana. Oh, paparazzi! <laughs> Is it my turn? Why are you staring at me? I don't know. I don't know either. What you got? Val Kilmer. I think he's on. Oh here. man, he's Just on. Just fucking yeah. check it. He should be. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Cancer. Cancer. Okay. Fair, you know what? Fair enough. That's uh, yeah. He's. I was, you know, I was gonna say I was gonna sense. murder him next Comic Con, but uh, yeah, whatever. All right, share. Share. I think Cher's on on there. There. Cher's never gonna die. Um, she's like forty-five percent plastic. Yeah, Cher's definitely. Oh yeah, I do put her on skiing accident. Skiing accident. Are you, you know, kidding? you go like your soulmate does. You what? Know? What? <laughs> um, what about Chaz? I'm pretty sure. Fuck, I think I picked all of these before. Chaz? Yeah, Chaz. No, I don't. All think right, Chaz do Chaz bone on there. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, my because I do so many picks, they all have to be so like off the wall. Cause uh, uh, Chaz is gonna die during the reverse surgery. Oh my! To go back <laughs> to the future. Or? Yes, yeah, back to the future. <laughs> Must be nice. Stem cells. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And then uh, OJ Simpson. OJ can't die either, either, man. He's only like. Had three big advent or two big adventures. You have to have three. <laughs> OJ's not on. Okay, so OJ Simpson, and uh, he's gonna get run over by a white bronco. <laughs> what? It's gonna Apoetic. find him. It's it. He's gonna be eating dinner at a restaurant. Choking on a and, chicken bone. And it is gonna yeah. He's gonna be choking on a chicken bone, but it is gonna fucking fly through the side <laughs> of the building and take him out before he chokes. And who's inside driving? Chloe Kardashian. 
She's like, you're not my real dad. You're not my real dad. I can't take it anymore. If the glove don't fit. <clears throat> Killed by White Bronco. I like that. That might be my favorite Deadpool pick today. This is pretty rough, man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what about you, Doug? What do you got? Uh, fuck. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even know. <coughs> Broke it. <laughs> what do you got? Meryl Streep in a self-driving car accident. It's Meryl Streep. Huh? Self-driving car accident. Yeah. That's a way to go. It's gonna know. She's in it. She's got it coming. She's well. That's what the way it's gonna look. <laughs> that's the way it's gonna look. <laughs> she like mob ties now or something. <laughs> I've said too much already. <laughs> said too much already. <laughs> The shit's, we're, in a, we're in a room with a padlock on the door. You can't say shit like that. There's like carpet on the walls in this bitch. No one's gonna hear us. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, James Corden. Oh my god. I, oh, I want to say yes. Seems to. But check it. What? <laughs> James Gordon? Corden. Who's that? The fucking karaoke with cars guy. A guy named Game after Cheese. Host, weird guy. No, he's not. Some kind of head injury, I think. <laughs> From a self-driving car. <laughs> to carry <laughs> Yep. Car came through the wall, took his skull off. A water oh, slide, man. possibly. A water slide scalping. That's new. <laughs> Some kind of head injury. <laughs> Shit, we could leave him bait like that. I like uh, that. All right. Mr. Go down, down the list. list. Here we go. Uh, Kate, Kate Moss. Moss. Is Kate Moss on the list? Uh, even know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. Sweet. I don't think. What happened to her? <laughs> I don't know. Crack, yeah. crack overdose. <laughs> in a cage. Lost <laughs> on a train. Somewhere in Nevada. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Separated from her family. Right. On a train. Is that the sequel to Snakes on a Train? The yes. B movie? Moss on a Train. Moss on a Cage. Moss. Moss in a Cage on a Train. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister, but it's worth it. Do you think in her whole life she ever dyed her pubes green because she's Kate Moss? Yes. Because <laughs> I would, man. Yeah. My last name was Moss, man. <laughs> I'd be like, here's my Moss. <laughs> Have a beautiful <laughs> time. <laughs> You can do that with armpit hair, too. You she could. Let that you shit grow out. all over the place, yeah. man. I can see Kate Moss doing that. Nice. You haven't seen Kate's Moss, don't lie. <laughs> no. I wish. <laughs> uh, what? What else? Uh, Are you gonna do another Kate now? No, no I'm actually... How about... Fuck. Who's Naomi Watts? Or Natalie Portman. <gasps> yeah. God damn it, Mike. Take her out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just saying. <coughs> She's, She's on her list. <laughs> what would happen to her? That'd be another one that people couldn't just shut the fuck up about on the internet, huh? I think they find her like tied to a bed with no explanation. <laughs> right. <laughs> No explanation, none. It's like Dexter in there. Everything's covered in cellophane. No evidence, nothing. The guy just left the body because he got lazy that time. Or a girl. Yeah. Probably a girl. Let's be honest. She's... Yeah. It's I'd imagine they'd shave her head, though. And I take imagine the they'd write, like, Gryffindor I think that her. girl is Charlize Theron. Oh, no. Wow, that could be a new we got a script porn. cooking here. What's that going is, on? Wow, that is wow. a solid, crazy porn idea you got there, bud. I like it. We'll you call should it tell Space X, Force. X, 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 Ten, Sean. Triple X, Ten, Sean. Send that idea to him in a cage held by a small child. And Kate Moss. <laughs> Covered in Kate's moss. <laughs> Covered in her moss. No, no. That's perfect. Moss. If you go to Bosley, do you get Kate's moss <laughs> on your head? Yes. Yes. That's, I, I hear that's what they do. Yes. Surgical. Surgical. 
Uh, Cheech and Chong? I don't know. What's, who's Helen Murren? Uh, George Bush Sr. is definitely on there. Uh, John Carpenter. Ooh. Gary Busey can't die. We've got a ton so. going on here. Bob Barker is definitely on the list. John McCain is definitely on the I list. I thought Bob Barker was dead already. No, it's not. I was surprised too. You thought wrong. Come uh, on let down. Me see if Gary Busey's on. I think Gary Busey's yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Busey's definitely on. Gary Busey can't die. Look at his face. It's just like wrinkles. It's like a tree. You can tell how old see. he is based on how much. Tommy Chong is, on his is face. definitely yeah. on the you list. You think you could uh, you could figure it out? But if you cut him in half and count the rings, I'm but fucking positive. You'd have to cut him with the jaws of life <laughs> to count the rings. The jaws of life will That's, cause your death. Yeah, you are a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy wearing floaties, not in water. Nope. <laughs> but if <laughs> there were water, you are extra buoyant. If there was water in this room, we're locked in because the yeah. padlock. We're all gonna die. It's yeah. like Titanic in this not bitch. Not me. Not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> not again. Are you 100 percent sure in a past life you died? I don't know. I did a lot of acid one day, and I thought the the, the rain was coming. Dude, I collected two of life, every animal. What if this life was just like? Like, me and Sean are in a hotel in some other place, and he goes, dude, you got to try this. It's amazing. And I go, sure. And here I am for 100 years, and then we're back in we're back in Sean's hotel room. John He's on to us, Doug. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Extra dimensional. Pat Sajak's going to have a heroin over his Oxycontin, actually. Pat Sajak? That's yeah. harsh, man. He's so nice. It's what you think. Well, I think I'd put way. Pat Sajak on there. Pe secret pill head. Yeah, you think so? cocaine too. Everybody you think so? Cocaine. He's not a smoker. You can tell by his face, though. He's not a smoker. I could see the cocaine, though. Does he still host the wheel. He, yeah, he's he he still in shape. Him. He's looked the same forever. Mm -hmm. That's a coke. And he, he, the only reason why he keeps Vanna on is because she sells coke. She's seen some shit. Oh, oh he's like blackmailed into it. Some shit. Yeah, that's rough. Stan Lee is definitely on there. Yeah, what's he worth? Keep him well, coming. Well, Stan Lee, he Who's almost got shot weird? the other day, right? I he, know, they dude. broke into his house yeah, with guns him. and shit. They yeah, mugged he, Stan Lee. Yeah, Stan Lee. Spider-Man didn't even come or nothing. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Who would rob Stan Lee? He owed me money. All, all sorts money, of people man. fucked with story him. It's crazy. He kicked That's his insane. own like, motherfucker, Stan Lee better pay up, motherfucker. I don't care if you're a comic book dude. I want my movie money. Yeah, right? Where my shit at, yo? I don't, want, I don't want none of your comics. Yeah, Give me some cash. And he throws the shit at him. This is a Spider-Man number one. Yeah, Zooks. What does Stanley say? Excelsior? Yes. Whoa. Yeah. That's yeah, a good college. Man. Anyway. Stanley. Mm, I got a... I still have to pay. Fuck, I'm, I'm struggling here. Are you? Tonight, yeah. I think the hair color. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, gonna Joe die. Perry. Is he That's a hair one? color, Joe so. Perry. Fuck, yeah. man, what Joe color is that? Perry. Joe Every Perry. color. <laughs> it's a yeah, rainbow. You put Joe it's Perry all of the colors. Pants. Every <laughs> color. Ever. It's colored, if you will. Um, yep. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Is Arsenio on here? Arsenio mm. Hall? Why though? Because he's getting up there, man. Oh man, he's gonna be fisted to death. I know it. He's <laughs> <laughs> the who, fucking who, whoever who, killed who? Arsenio Hall. <laughs> That's who. No? <laughs> anyway, that was, that was fucking man. awful. <laughs> Fisted to death. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's where halls came from, you know that, right? Because people would be like, ooh, 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 oh, oh, God. So they made this little tablet. So when you go to the show, wow, that was a bad one. Let's move forward. <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, put Tom Green on there, too. Um, well, yeah. his bum was on everything. Yes. Fucking Tom Green. Who's the guy who wants the first space? Who's that home? astronaut that's talking shit? He's probably going to be next. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Save Kelly. a space for yeah, him. Uh, yeah, right. space He's going to fall out of a fucking rocket or some shit. Somebody's parachute. Jimmy Page. Ooh. Jimmy Page? Jimmy Page. But pick you a can't drug. Pick, three pick a drug. People. You can't pick three people. Uh, Justin, not not this round. You can guess them next week. Next week. Next week. Bam. Yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy Page. I'm gonna pick him next week. No. <laughs> Fuck you, Justin. That's my pick. 
Well, he dies tomorrow then. Yep. Every time you delay a pick, the guy dies, man. <laughs> don't put me on that delayed list. <laughs> don't like fucking lay away me on this list. Just put me straight on it, cause they don't die. Well, you just don't get famous, and then don't, we don't, don't lay away my ass. Yeah. <laughs> get waylaid. Get waylaid at Walmart. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that where you're, you're supposed to get it? Maybe. I'm not sure. Cage Sorry, Justin. You can cry about it. He's I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> cry about it. I love you, Dustin. Justin. <laughs> you almost just called him Dustin. I did. It? You're high, dog. I am fucking baked. <laughs> uh, do we want to go on to a different topic? Sure, man. Yeah. Pick one. Where do you want to go? I feel like I just picked one. Really? I don't know. Did it, Doug? Do it. You got uh, this. I don't know what I want to talk about. Cause I'm fucking high. Let's um, talk about boycott Hollywood. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm talking about boycott Hollywood. Sure. Dude, Boy what's Mr. Poopy Butthole doing here, though? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> uh, let me bring up boycott Hollywood. So Chris Hardwick. That's the big thing. Oh yeah. What happened with him? I heard his name, but I didn't know. The he story. got me too. Oh man. He got me too. Uh, he uh, is being accused of sexually abusing a girl, his ex, right? Mm -hmm. And now he's been like all of his shit suspended. Any yep. like yeah. bit of his marking on Nerdist has been removed. Like he can't even drive now. They took his driver's license and shit, right? Probably. I mean, that's how it works. He right? can't use public restrooms or transportation. Mm -hmm. None of it. He's gonna walk everywhere. Yeah. yeah. He can't live within a mile of anything. Mm. Nope, nothing at all. <laughs> He's gonna be the first one of the Space Jam. I mean, Space... What the fuck was it? Force? Yeah. <laughs> so clearly it's just the first accusation of many to come, right? Yeah, he's yep. screwed this at this point. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's vetted or not, he's just screwed. Yes. Which yes. is like... I feel bad for everyone involved. The people that it could have happened to, if it happened to them, I feel genuinely terrible for them, honestly. But if it didn't happen, I feel genuinely terrible for the other party. So, like, the whole thing is, like, beyond me now. It's past. It's past me. I, I kind of always assumed this about Chris Hardwick. Yeah, he's kind of a, a douche. He's kind of a douche, do you guys? Yeah, yeah you think so? He was mean to us. Oh, he, he told us that if we don't perform <laughs> sexual acts on him, he wouldn't let us on one of his 30 TV shows. Oh. And we didn't, he didn't. Oh, no. Yeah, so we're stuck here in Doug's basement. Damn, man. You should have locked that lock on the outside of this fucking room, I know. Man. He would have I mean, been down here with us. You can't get out of here. You have a Pez dispenser that's like uh, an instrument of uh, aliens if you get my drift. But, you know, there's no batteries around, so we'll figure it out, man. <laughs> you're like, we should invite him down here and, like, cut his skin off. That's what your face said to me. I don't know. It might have got lost in translation. No, I totally, I, I want to host 30 TV shows Heck yeah, wearing dude. Chris Hardwick's skin. We, we yeah. need to find the Confederate boot knife. Oh, no. no. Oh, yeah. Come here, Chris. <laughs> look south, look south. <laughs> this thing's great. Oh, uh, Chris Hardwick. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's always kind of creeped me out. Wasn't um, the whole single note? Sort of thing, a little bit of a douchey show that he was like the whole like about. I don't know. Was he on Single Doubt? Yeah. What? That's where oh he started shit! Out, yeah. And then he was on Attack of the Show. Yeah. And he helped oh, save yeah. G Four. Yeah, yeah. And then he he had a, he a talking his, his everything. Yep. He does like talking everything yeah. on on AMC. He kind of have like the yep. gelled hair and the slick thing, and sort of look all like. Mm, yeah, I don't know. And the How fancy suit is one size too small. Not a, uh... Like I say, kind of has a douche vibe to him. Really. Yeah. I kind of, I don't know. I never met the guy, so I can't really speak of his fucking how he would treat me, and I'm also not somebody I don't think that if... Fuck him, fuck Sean. Him, yeah, exactly. Fuck him. <laughs> you know, like, there's a, uh... <laughs> He's like, yeah, exactly. I fucking love Sean so much. So agreeable. <laughs> Can I <hit> that? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> but it's uh, 
<laughs> no, but I agree with you though. I do. I do. I was just making it funny. <laughs> Scott says, awesome. why is it that Stan Lee created all those stories that billion that made billions of dollars, but uh, uh, he has no money? Right? What the fuck's up with that? He was bugged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Several times. Several times. Several times. Yeah, he's playing too many fucking pay-to-play video yep. games. And then Justin that says, shit. that's fucked. <coughs> Hard- Chris Hardwick. He's been masturbating to school shootings. <laughs> Wait, did I miss the... Yeah, how did that... <laughs> wow. that? That's not what you're supposed to... <laughs> Fucking Stan Lee. Yeah. I think a lot of people we think are rich are probably not rich. They probably fucked up their money, man. Bad investments. You know, like, like none, of, none of your friends talk about their money, and some of your friends, like, spend money a whole bunch, but they're actually in debt a whole fuckload. And some of your friends don't say anything, and they're, like, rich as balls, you know? Like, it's this weird thing in America. In other countries, because I've been to a lot of countries. Uh, Must be nice. Plug for me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> in other countries, they talk about it like it's no big deal. Like, they also talk about weight like it's no big deal. Like, things we think here are a little, like, don't say that. Over right. there, it's like, so what do you make? And that's like saying, uh, are you balding under that hat? And I go, yes, I am. But, like, they don't even think it's offensive, you know? But they want to know where you belong in the society, I think, versus where in America economic transcendence is more of an ingrained thing. Yeah. Where we look at, like, other shit that we can complain about with the SJW culture, rather than in other countries it's more of, like, where do you fit in our social tier, class-wise? Right? I don't know, maybe. I think that's here that's understood hidden. it to be. Yeah. We're here, like I you think say, here yeah, we hidden. try really hard You're to Because that. that's what I'm saying. It's amorphous yeah. here. Like, you could make a lot of money overnight or lose your money overnight or there you're kind of like set in stone what it is you're going to fucking do with your life honestly I think uh, the re- like what everybody has doesn't really actually matter but I think because we put so much emphasis on it it does matter but that's also why we keep it secret because everybody wants to be a little more they want to be a one up man that's why we do mushrooms <laughs> sorry so, that was not that connected at all. Mario joke? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it was a Mario smart. joke. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally cool. Don't don't start about it. But um, yeah, I just I don't know. Yeah. Oh shit! Purple nurples. I'm gonna me too, you Doug. Good. <clears throat> yeah, we were saying. That Stanley had people stealing from him. That's fucked. They stole somebody, his blood. His accountant, yeah, like stole his blood. Had somebody come in and oh, take yeah, blood. Yeah. Auctioned it. Yeah, yeah, tried to put it in ink that That's would be insane. used in comics. They make a comic out of his blood. Yeah. Kiss did it. Yeah. Well, they meant to Supposedly. do it though. He didn't, right? Well, did anybody no, find out what happened yeah. to Richard Simmons? He might be next. Yeah. yeah Richard Simmons was, only did things with crazy bitches. They're all like. They're not going to me to him. They're trying to get his number back. I mean, on the Deadpool. Oh, on the Deadpool. Well, what would he die right? of? Like, in his house forever? I think and he might be. Exposure to toxic makeup or... Too much? See, you're thinking Gene Look Simmons. I am thinking Gene yeah. Simmons. Richard Simmons, yeah. though, probably wore makeup, so I'm fine. Yeah. He sweated a lot. Like, because he sweat a lot, and, like, he had that hair, and thank you for yep. that, because it just hit me like a truck. Or maybe, like, some oh, sort dude. of uh, athletic person would hit me. Nice sweater. That's a what? sweet ass sweater. That that oh is a God. picture of a. a Who wears a sweater over a collared shirt? What's this business? Well, he looks that's totally good move. to women. That's like, the like, plan. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's a douche move. Well, sure. Sweater he looks like he'd meet me in a back alley and do and stuff. Do stuff to you. He probably he looks works like he'd out sell you that coke at a shirt. crappy Chinese restaurant. That's what he looks like. <laughs> it's true. It's like socks and sandals. Uh, you hear Jamie Foxx was accused of dick slapping somebody? I did hear that. Yeah, which yeah. is like a huge escalation from In any 2002. situation. How do you go from no any activity to slap, dick slapping? besides yeah. a blowjob to smacking a woman in the face with a dick? How do you, how also do you go from any like Maybe he's like reaching over to grab some lotion how or do you something not? and slap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's a huge jump in any... Like you play Cards Against Humanity and you say the weird shit ever and then like... You hit a chick in the face with your dick? Like, how do you go from A to B, Josh? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe... Please answer this okay. question. <laughs> so, he he was letting it out for some air. Uh-huh. Because, yeah. uh-huh. you know, he's Jamie Foxx. Where was he at this point? The kitchen? 
Like, let's pretend they live in, like, Full House. Where, where is he at? <laughs> he, they're in their house uh, in Vegas. In Vegas, in the house. Where a party is going on. <coughs> okay, bad things are already happening. And she's blowing him. Oh, see, that's not a huge jump. At this party. That's not a huge jump. And then all of a sudden, she told police that she refused. And so he smacked her in the face. How many years ago penis. was this? This was 16 years ago. See, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that because, like, if you waited that long, like, I don't know, I wasn't there. Obviously, she was inspired by the Me Too movement. Well, she claims great. that she like, had panic attacks after returning to her home. Did it fucking knock, knock her out? out? And she had to go to the hospital. <laughs> she, she couldn't have uh, like a black ceiling fan going. It just freaks her out too bad. Like PTSD. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Any like. She's it's BBC TSG. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's legitimate, I feel for her like crazy. <laughs> but the thing is, it's so long ago, how do you prove anything? Yeah, yeah picture it didn't happen. It's so long ago, how do you prove anything? Well, the statute of limitations <laughs> in Nevada is three years, so they're even well, well, they, they don't, they they don't they care. care. Either way, then, they don't, they don't care. It's going to disappear. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because, like... Sometimes I think... Spawn, bitch. I think a lot of things. That's all I think. It's the permanent mushroom stamp on the forehead. Oh, no. That's the <laughs> proof. That's not the kind of mushroom trip I want. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm reading this he, He's story. not saying that she is a gold digger. <laughs> he's just saying that she wanted to be slapped in the face with his dick. Yeah. But not by no broke, broke, broke. Mm -hmm. To quote the non-explicit version. Yo, Kanye was there watching. Mm -hmm. was Which he? is oddly the yeah. name of his penis. Yep. Kanye, <laughs> yeah. Kanye, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's though, right? So it's not like copyright infringement. Right. Right. Of course, of course, of course. Kanye. Yeah, it's to the right, to the right, so it doesn't mess up that song either. Instead of <laughs> to the, the left. left. The left. Like the rest of us. Yeah. I'm saying. Josh is like, yeah, how do you know about my dick? <laughs> and that's the answer is 60% of all. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> See how I don't say things, but you think them anyway? That's because you're a terrible person. Yeah. I didn't this is such that. a crazy, yeah. like, uh, <clears throat> thing to be. Accused of a dick slap. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, man. The only time I've ever got a mushroom to... stamp was from the post office, man. <laughs> Jango, it's a Jango. unique situation to find yourself in. Yeah, what maybe he even... was wearing shorty shorts. But what did he say to that? What would your defense be, Doug? He tried to dunk on her. Yeah. <laughs> They were playing one on one in the court, and his, his shorts fell down. That's what yeah. happened. And he went to Michael Jordan it, and just so straight penis with to the one face. of his balls. Yep. Shit got interesting. Someone got dick to the face. Yeah, like most basketball That's games. That's not a bad. And is that like unassisted by the hips, or do you hold oh, it and no. swing? Like, what's a dick slap in? Doug? See, here's the thing. You, we were having a pants off party. Uh huh. Right, and we were playing yeah. volleyball. Like sure, volleyball. Do. Like you do. Right. We talked about and that earlier. She she fell. Yep. And I went to help her up, but then the ball came at me, and so when I went to oh, hit no. the ball, my dick hit her in the face. Oh. It was Sandy. So you're on the hook for this. <laughs> hmm. I was reenacting a scene from Booty, uh, booty Call. <laughs> oh, and, uh, <laughs> it was an accident. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. Joe Dadino. Usually uh, I go with uh, a scene from Legally Blonde because that bend and snap scene works for almost everything. <laughs> it's like a motto for Sean's life. Bend <laughs> and snap. Because it applies to pot too. My worry is I've dick slapped a lot of random women at parties. Mm, you probably shouldn't <laughs> say that out loud. That's what we're talking Allegedly. Right there. Alleg there you go. You're fine. You're fine. Allegedly. Problem solved. Allegedly. You watch crime TV, uh, huh? But I have never been. C I'm going to. That's. I'm going to school to be a lawyer. Oh, there you go. Uh, I wouldn't have been here if I knew that. But go on. <laughs> <laughs> 
not your kind of lawyer. No, not my mm, mm, no lawyers. My I'm friends. gonna I'm gonna help uh, protect uh, sex offenders. Oh, nice, cool. Man. No, no. Well, you know, um, lawyer in the thesaurus is right next to enemy, so it's fair. It's cops there too, I think. I love the police though. When you're talking about the band. Yeah. Yeah. That stings. <laughs> That's my follow-up to that joke. I fucking love you right now. That's on my notepad. I love you so much. Wow, that joke does sting, man. Yeah. Right. I, I, I was just playing that through. Hey, my don't turn on that red light. I didn't. Yet. I didn't want to get flagged, so I was just. I, I put it on play. <laughs> oh no. Crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, Jamie Fox, quit dick slapping, bitches. Yeah. Apparently, it's, uh, you know. Maybe like when he did it, was he like Shazam? Beat that. Yeah, I'm pretty you, sure. You know the the new show, Beat Shazam with Jamie Fox. You haven't seen that show? He has a new show called Beats. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Should I be plugging his show after he plugs no. some chick's face? No. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I want. I'll talk to you about that later. Damage. That's a reference you didn't get, but it's fine. You know, you beat Shazam and Shazam, and you know, you get some charges. <laughs> it's That's what he calls his penis. Is Shazam. Shazam. Beat Shazam. 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 It wasn't the hooker's name that he picked up. Shazam. You just beat it there. I, I don't know. It's 50 50. You figure out the song before Shazam, he doesn't hit you in the face with his dick. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, well, that's really close to the rules of the game, which means <laughs> that's terrible that you know that without ever seeing the show. Except. Money. So is that what this chick is after? The I mean, rights to Shazam? Yeah, she's trying to win the show. <laughs> she wants a yeah. million dollars just like everyone else. But she won't be able to get much because it's outside of the statute of limitations. In right, Nevada. she's screwed now. Yeah. Which, if it, if it's all as she says it is, is terrible. And if it's not, I have PTSD. All I can see is that thing coming at me. It's like a pendulum. It's just coming at her. Therapy. Um, did you hear about Warner Brothers is no longer allowing the Harry Potter festivals that what? are going on uh, to to use their name? Why? They've been sending them uh, copyright. Um, oh. Yeah, they're telling them they can no longer advertise or claim anything Harry Potter or Harry Potter theme. Wow, man. So there's huge festivals in, in different states where yeah. they do Harry Potter uh, themes. And it's a big thing. Quite like people dress up. Yep, yeah, yeah, they yeah, do. That's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. I don't think we to stop him. Well, who was the golden snitch in this situation? <laughs> the snitches get snitches, man. <laughs> let's figure this out and let's beat the fuck out of him with some brooms. That needs to happen. And Warner Brothers. Expelliarmus is and all the, that. The snitch. <laughs> they probably, they probably Warner didn't Brothers? take much to find out. Yeah. Oh, man. And they're golden, too, so that makes sense. They're golden snitch. Mm -hmm. We be snitching. That's Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> I gotta pee. Be funny. You do your thing, man. More than two shakes and you're playing with yourself. Yeah. It's all you. Yeah. He's oh, gonna play with himself on you. Got it. Okay. All right. That's Fair lot. enough. But yeah, I think it's fucked up. I mean, uh, they should be cashing in on. It. Oh yeah, they could be. You know? Yeah, they need it's, percentages. Yeah. Yeah. It's Doesn't this country work on money? I mean, when did corporations get values? Because <laughs> I wasn't around for that. Were you? Well, and I think that's their thing. Is they're mad that they're not getting the money from it. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean... Being a bunch of bitches about it. God forbid people organize on their own and don't pay someone to do it. Maybe they need a good visit from Jamie Foxx. Yeah, and a good mush. Yeah. <clears throat> Talking to. Mm -hmm. They cracked down on my Animaniacs festivals, though, so... <laughs> Animaniacs, man, that was a good show back... What was that? 95? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a while ago, man. Oh yeah. What up? What up? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dick slap you. Oh, <laughs> He's gonna Jamie Fox you. Allegedly. Oh, X three doors down. Yeah, so X three doors down bass player uh, arrested for drugs and weapons, uh, and he's a convicted felon. That was another thing. Drugs and weapons. Three doors down. Does anybody remember those guys? 
Yeah, they had that that song about that uh that like that man who was super and oh. like he had like that that like weakness. Kryptonite. Yeah. yeah this guy knows. Mm -hmm. He's like, if I go crazy, will you still damn me, Superman? Ish. <laughs> <laughs> Musician age drugs and weapons. That's not that's not, that's not really a you know, you know like it's surprise. Some basic oh, bitch cool. shit. He's just trying to be a rapper. Well it's basically like why'd you get caught? You talk too much? But he we got, expect that out of like yeah, musicians and artists and celebrities, right? He Have got drugs? fired a couple of years back because he, he did a couple of years in prison for uh, causing a deadly accident. Oh uh, was only he on drugs? two years. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, there you go. So that's it right there. Um, but they were responding to an alarm at his house, and his wife told deputies that they argued, and it turned physical. Oh, shit. While they were there, deputies saw guns and drugs in the home, and then they got a search warrant and came back. And Safety he was arrested. First. He's now facing a charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And misdemeanor charges of possession of a controlled substance and domestic violence, simple assault. Hmm. That's just crazy. Three doors down, man. That's rough, man. What, what a fucking... Well, it just... Never be a dick to your partner, man. Woman, man, what the fuck ever. Don't be a dick to your partner because partner knows everything about you. They know yeah. where you hide the they, drugs. Yeah. Case in point, Josh, whoever you're with or not with, or what the fuck ever, however you define it, they know your shit. So hide the drugs better. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. Don't argue with the place. Hide the guns better? The open, the, maybe. Well, I mean, so. don't be a dick is what I was saying. Oh, okay. but, you know, like, obviously he pissed her off, right? Stuck, and now yeah, he's fucked. Yeah. Now he's so fucked. Yeah. And if he'd have just been a fucking gentleman about it and made, like, you know, adult decisions, maybe he wouldn't be. Drugs it was? Maybe he wouldn't be. Maybe. But he was in Three Doors Down, so they we know he makes bad decisions. Kind of correct. <laughs> uh, he made one, like, 20 years ago, at least. <coughs> maybe a little less. I don't know. What was that other song? I'm here without you, baby. But you're still on my lonely mind. Yeah. Sleep without you, baby. Because Sean's here half... No, wait, all the time. Right, Sean? <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta fucking roll with it. We're improving with Doug. <laughs> I knew a couple lyrics, but after that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, I, mm. Yeah. I'm so disappointed in you, Doug. Good. Good. I think all their members have been in trouble for some sort of, like, deadly accident. Their singer got in some shit, right? Yeah. Yep. I think they were all listening to like Dave Matthews Band at the time yes. too, like all sad, and, like you know, <laughs> like ready to die. And they're like, "Wait, the Golden Bra Gate Gate Bridge is too far. Let's do this weird shit instead." And then like all of a sudden, your girlfriend like narks to the cops, and you're like, "Snitches get stitches," but she's already in protective custody, so you're fucked. And your name's like Kanye West, so it's cool. You have a lot of money, but Josh is looking at me like, "What?" I'm just thinking about it. That's. That's, that'd be a good uh, Lifetime oh. movie. <laughs> I, I swear I thought you were going to say Achievement Award. No. <laughs> I was like, what? Starring Hayden Panettiere. Oh, man. Hey, it's Kanye man. West. And Meryl Streep as every woman in the show. Yep. <laughs> because she's amazing, let's be honest, guys. Going close. Oh, yeah. You guys have a skeleton in here. <laughs> that was the last producer. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Did he have the walk? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Joe says, tell him to call Cherie. We'll <laughs> bail him out. LOL. <sighs> Cherie's a great bail, bail bondsman. She'll drop whatever to take care of whatever you need, man. That's not even a plug. She's good, good people, man. She really is. Bail bonds her. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, she doesn't make any money out of the gig. I mean, except for all the money that she makes. But she's a good chick. She really is. She'll help you out. Don't go to jail, Sean. Just so you know. We know we, we've got connections. 
Yeah, I'm you surprised jail, man. none of us have gone to jail yet for the shit we've said on here. We haven't gone to jail. One in three people have gone to jail. There's five of us in the room. That means two oh, of us probably went to jail. I've been to yeah. jail. Three, three of us went to jail. All right, see, stats. Been to jail. Yeah, that's that's how it works, man. I've Some people say jail. drugs are an escape. That's not true. I did drugs in jail. Never escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You roll it in the fucking Bible papers. You know what I mean? Dude, they write those on fucking, I'm sure they do. They write them on zigzags. Mm -hmm. That little, those little tiny oh, Bibles, yeah. they're written on zigzags, man. They're not like hemp paper, but they should be because think of yeah exactly. Think of how many more they would. They don't sell those. Never mind. That's a. You have a fucking is. stripper card as a bookmark in your travel Bible, Doug. <laughs> Holy shit! Do they see that? Someone should see that. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. What is it? What is it? What place is it holding? I must know the passage that. <laughs> It's gonna uh, be great. What is it? Looks like Revelations. Oh yeah, yeah. something about <laughs> everybody Chapter dying. Chapter twelve and thirteen. Oh my God, everyone dies. <laughs> he dies. Uh, she dies. Layla <laughs> does a good job. <coughs> Her name's Layla. Well, this one's Layla. Yeah. And then this one's. Does 80. that say forty dollars? Sixty nine. Sixty nine dollars. Yeah, special. That's Josh's favorite it's a good number. Deal, yeah. <laughs> it's a real good deal. Uh, no, this is a Vegas hooker. Oh, $69, really? That seems way undervalued. It's Vegas. I was going to say reasonable, but... <laughs> She's reasonable. 40 years old, man. She's 40 years old. No, I'm not after man. I don't know about That's the, why the fucking market. That's why it's $69. God damn it. I don't Dude, know about the fish market. She's 40 years old. I didn't That's... know those things had stats on them. Apparently they appreciate... <laughs> not the cards. Great. Now we got... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did have her three point Thank percentage? You. This is best part of our ever, uh, Joe says. Best that, bookmark ever. <laughs> that is you are part a joke? of our wonderful and weird giveaway. I'll bring one home for Joe. Can I bring one for Joe home? That's my only one. That's your only one? Yeah. No, only shit. Card? no, I have a hooker card I can bring. <laughs> no, but I uh, give you, I don't have another Bible mm. that I could give you. Joe doesn't want one of those. Uh, he yeah. just wants the hooker <laughs> But yeah, I have Smoked a hooker card. already. Yeah, right. Uh, that's part of our wonderful and weird boy, along with some wonderful whiskey, some crazy fun toys, some bongs, a rig, some artwork, hot sauce, <laughs> also, hot a Pez sauce. dispenser that looks uh, a, uh, like not, something else. I have a Pez dispenser. What is that thing right there, the colorful thing in front of the, the circuit board? It has like a weird robot head. This? Yeah, that, that's, that's a, torch. a torch. That's not part of the Oh, giveaway. that's a torch. Yeah. I thought that was a Pez dispenser or some kind of something, man, like no, a lamp bottom. That's Shit. for smoking my rocks. Oh, all right. Well, you know. <laughs> um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Our giveaway. We yeah. we're giving all that away at 500 likes, y'all. Yeah, we're getting closer too. There, there's over. Uh, there's over how many? Like 40 entries. 40 entries. Yeah. Right. Yep. 40 prizes. prizes. Okay. 40 entries, that sounds yeah. like a Bukake intro. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's more than 40 entries, stay tuned for pixelated money shots. <laughs> sorry um, Josh, sorry. I'm so hoping, many I saw your internet history. I'm hoping in the next I left week. it out so you could. <laughs> sorry, what? That's how you get to know somebody. Oh snap. Yeah. I'm hoping in the next week or so we'll be able to launch Tampon Trader. Yeah. Tampon Trader? Yeah. Don't yeah. string me along. Tell me what's up. <laughs> what's the deal with tampons? And we're going to, you know, some people are into, like, panty, buying panties and sure. shit from chicks. So you're selling pearls, We're, huh? we're going to, yeah, we're going to allow women <laughs> to trade <laughs> their pearls. I'm so yeah. sorry for that joke, Jesus. <laughs> that was beautiful. No, oh, man. That's beautiful. Those are not going to be normal pearls, though. Oh, shit. But, yeah, we're, they're going to be able to trade their tampons. In, like, a week to, or what? When was the date? I missed it. I'm hoping in the next week or so oh, we'll wow. be able to launch it. TamponTrader.com. It's yeah, going to be big he, in Japan. He's got like 30 in a bag that he's going to start making <laughs> people. Yeah. It's just a little... They're, they're anonymous. I didn't know that there were that many public restrooms in Fort Collins, but... He's been saving for a while. Not all of them oh, are fresh. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You like that? No. But yeah, Tampon Trader. I, if you guys <laughs> want to invest... Give us money. Mm. Your stock name's gonna be TT. <clears throat> Don't get caught red handed. Oh Ew. my god. Not investing on this deal. 
<laughs> You'll have a bloody good time. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the England slogan. Yeah. It's their mantra. Yeah. For we anybody who it's just your tuned in, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, do we want to keep going, or you guys should talk about what you guys got going yeah. on? Yeah, fucking hey, what what, what do you, you guys got going, got going on, Sean? Uh, yeah. We're both gonna be at Joke Chalice yeah, here Joke in Chalice. July, on the eleventh. The Aggie, everybody should come. Y'all should come out, and see me and Sean sling some jokes. It's gonna be great. What else you got going on, Sean? Let's see. For July, we're we'll almost done with June. You were just featured in a show at Copper Muse, man. Killed yeah, it. Featured in Copper Muse, just got back from Sonic Bloom. Sonic Bloom, too. This guy's amazing. There. Super that busy this show. Uh, let's see. Joke. Joke Cella. Joke Cella, yeah. yeah Joke Cella. Jokio Drift is the name, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they give it a cool little catchphrase. It's, not, it's no tampons, but, you know. Um, so you guys get a minute a piece? A minute, yeah, a minute and a half, or something light, like that, you know? Pretty big feature number of comics on It's going to be like Pop Rocks, man. You put them in your mouth and like bam, 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 comic after comic after comic, and then Adam Clayton Hall at the end, and everyone goes, oh my gosh, this is... It's going to be great, oh. man. It's just going to be oh, like a I comic explosion of Pop Rocks all over your face yeah. in the best way possible. None of the gross ways that... Josh's face is suggesting right now. All the gross ways. <laughs> I'll bring the moist wipes <laughs> if I need to. No. No. They're called towelettes if you say moist. Moist. They're wet wipes if you yeah. say wipes. Get with it. What the fuck? Just moisties. <laughs> I just call them moisties. Moisties? Yeah. I'll accept that. I'll I bring them in my that. fanny pack. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, my no. moisty pack. Is that His mom packs them again? for him. <laughs> Are you wearing a unicorn horn? I might be. That's fair. Uh, you get the Copper every week, right? Or so we, every month, yeah. Every second every second Sunday of the month, we do a show at Copper Muse in Fort Collins. You guys should all come out. It's a great show. Lots of great drinks. Great drink specials. We raffle off a bottle of liquor. It's great laughs. Everybody should come out. Where's, where's Copper Muse? So if you go north on College in Fort Collins... Until you see Dr. John's on the left, which mm -hmm. no one knows where it is. Of course not. The adult shop, no one knows where that's at. <laughs> but it's right across the street from that location that no one knows about Dr. John's Northern Fort Collins. There's a distillery called Copper Muse, and that's where we do our show. It's a really nice place, real classy, great drink specials. I recommend the Mojito, but that's just me. Sean, back to you. Back to me, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you want this dog? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, other than that, you can catch me pretty much consistently doing shows at Hody's Half Note every Monday. Heck yeah, man. Doing open mic presentations there. I mean, oh, yeah. it is, uh, let's see, my uh, internet would be uh, for both Instagram. And Twitter at random Pandora. That's all one word. Yeah. You see, I'm on Facebook under Sean Ferguson as well. You can catch me there. Um, yeah. All over Fort Collins. I'm always open to do any of those. Like I said, those are the major things coming up right now. Pretty consistently, I'm about to do a little bit of a touring around, heading out to Asheville. Probably going to come back, try to do some more performances. Touring yes, around, that's comic for picking up drugs from another well, state. Well, you know, uh, so, like, globally, I'm thinking... Where are you thinking about going? I haven't really locked down a lot of dates in the next month or two because Because you're not travel. picking up pot. Yeah. We're in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, of course not. So, with that one, that's it. That's going to be great, Until man. about August, and then just start picking up some more stuff. So. Heck yeah, yeah, man. It's going to be great. Well, I don't know about you guys, but we're so excited that you had us here. Well, yeah. Like, this has been so fun, man. It's been I've fun had a blast. Fun. Thank you guys. Absolutely. We've had a blast. Definitely, we, we, uh, anytime you want to come back, you're welcome to. I just want to say Thumbs thank down. you. I, I feel so safe right now that I took off the water wings. Did you? Just for you guys. But not the lock. <laughs> no. No, all no. right, cool. But, like, <laughs> I, I just want to thank you guys so much for being so awesome. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh god, dog, I almost died. You did. I you, shouldn't you have taken him off. taken those wings off. Dude. Fuck! <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore. Oh shit. You'll be okay. You're gonna fucking rub me bald, stop. <laughs> don't do that again. You love it. Oh, so it's across from Scrumpy's. Oh, you know that place. Yeah, I know that. How do you know that place? Uh, cause, uh, Wednesdays sometimes. Every other Wednesday sometimes. I MC a, uh, night there. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be on the <laughs> list. Open talent night there. Uh, fucking stoners. Yeah, you gotta come out to Scrumpy and show what <laughs> yeah. you got, you know. Scrumpy's Get some awesome beer. Yeah. If you, yeah. you can do anything, you Get can be a stripper, time, you can be a comedian, <laughs> you, you can dance if you want. Musician, you can. You can definitely dance if you be want. Be a ventriloquist. Yeah, come on down, strut your stuff. But no, no dick slapping. No dick slapping, no dick slapping. please. No. Don't Jamie Fox me. Only him. Close. Not anybody else. What if it's my own thigh? Is that allowed? Of course. <laughs> you can't draw a face on your thigh and do it. That's <laughs> wrong. Bad. Oh my god. Tattoos. Yeah. yeah. A tattoo, a tattoo. On my thigh. <laughs> Just get a little bit of a ham bone going. You know? Yeah. You need help. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you guys. I Absolutely. really appreciate Yeah, it was you coming a great time. It's been yeah. fucking fun to sell. <laughs> We all uh, got um, a little retarded at the end. R R worded. R worded. Retarded. At the end, retired. Yeah. Uh, Second started. Make sure That's... you tell your friends about us. Yes. You know, yes, we've got this giveaway. Get them to like our page, watch our videos. Um, but you can catch us here every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Mountain time. Mountain fucking time. Right here. Right here on Mountain Facebook. Ten. Mountain 10. Around 10 time, hmm. 6 p.m., right here, Facebook, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Then you can watch us later on YouTube yep. or Facebook. You can also get us on iTunes and Google, Google Play. Play and Stitcher Radio yep. and Pod Podcast Knife. Republic, yep. Podknife, Listen Notes, all sorts of fucking places. Your dreams at night. Yeah. <laughs> You can get us around. Everywhere. Sometimes we uh, update our website, but not very often. But you can no. get shit on there. Yeah, social media references, social media references. Um, <laughs> Patreon. Um, support Patreon. Support Patreon. Wonderful, Wonderful and weird. weird. Yep. Um, these gentlemen, you should probably follow them. Yes. On... Uh, on their social medias. Patrick Lowry on Facebook and Sean Ferguson on Facebook and I don't know what other things yeah. you want to plug. Brandon Pandora on Twitter and Instagram. So check that out. It's uh, mostly just bags of trash I see caught in trees and my cat. <laughs> That's a hard seat. Yeah. No. Very American beauty of you. <laughs> I'm going to start throwing bags of trash into trees. <laughs> Just to get more people into That's art. That's your version of Banksy, man. Yeah. it would be great. Making the difference. <clears throat> Give yourselves yeah. a round. Yeah. What a good time. In Joke Cello. Uh, July, July 11th. July 11th. At the Aggie. Wednesday, July 11th. Come down to see Aggie. us. Tickets are still Wednesday. available. They're 10 bucks. Put them online. I'm going to have to come down for that. It's going to be great. Be a blast. Will will there be the same amount of drugs as Coachella? Hmm. In my system. See, we're on camera, so that's one of those questions. Maybe. You don't ask Allegedly. Allegedly, Doug what are you, says a yes. Narc? All the drugs. Yeah. But I didn't say that. Doug did. I heard Doug say it. Mm-hmm. I didn't say anything. He said it would be like a pharmacy there. Yeah. A sexual pharmacy. Yeah, there'll be plenty of women, and none of them are paying attention to Doug. Just like the pharmacy. Yep. You know, <laughs> well, it's hard to get them to pay attention when you're walking around with Magnum condoms and crab cream. 
Right. And when they see that you're there to pick up a herpes prescription, they just lose yeah. all interest. Yeah, Valtrex, man. They, oh, I wish man. they wouldn't print it so big on the bottle. No kidding, right? And the pharmacist always calls me out. It should be an invisible out. ink, though, really, because like herpes are only there sometimes. Especially when you're taking your Valtrex. <laughs> Do you want to plug Valtrex right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really is. Yeah. He's a big yeah. fan of Valtrex. Big so. fan. Yeah. Stop drawing constellations on your... Get Valtrex. <laughs> also plug uh, Natural Alternatives Dispensary again. Which oh, yeah, really absolutely. Good. They're great. Yeah, they're great up on Chobian College. Yeah. They're both Rec and Med. And Boots mm -hmm. go in there. Great deals every day of the week. I do on. love them. That's where I get all my stuff. And it's great. And yeah. Good people. Okay. Good people. And uh, also, uh, don't forget Sunshine Daycare uh, in Greeley. Go there for a Greeley good time. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, is that where they they put the separated children? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. It's a previous Walmart man. It's where yeah, the train, train stops. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's go, man. Right now. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. Really good job. Straight Whoa. to daycare. Whoa. Whoa. According to news, there was a shooting with a fucking department of a public safety worker in Texas. Anyways, fuck this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's been a good night. Thank you, guys. Uh, thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Yes. We will see you guys soon. Absolutely. Yay. Thank you guys.